the African Cup of Nations. We are here. Yeah, as you can see, that's that kit's from 96. That kit is not a replica. That kit is from 1996. Yes, I'm that old. So we're here. I mean, we're going to talk AFCON. The Nations Cup, the countries, the chances, the players, the permutations. Nigeria's represented. Algeria is represented, PSG. Um, Morocco is, rep rep is represented here. And also, yes, Ko is also going to be making his way here as well. And we're going to talk. We're going to talk about the AFCON and everything and everything to go with So let me just first kick things off here. Let me first kick things off. PSG, INC, I, I, how Algerian are you? I didn't know you were Algerian. I thought you were Swedish. You're on mute. You're on mute. You're on mute. Now? Yes, we can hear you. We can hear you. Uh, so I'm half Algerian. My dad is Algerian. And uh, I'm and very it... Algerian. Like, no one even notices my Algerian... Uh, my Swedish genes. Both, like, how I behave as a person and how I look. So I've always been treated like an Algerian. And I'm mm. proud of it. Oh, okay. That's, that's so, 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 so you're rapping your boys, you know, Benzema, Zidane, and so forth. <laughs> Yeah, but not Fakir. Not Fakir. Oh, oh, wow. Damn, damn. No, no, but yeah, look, yeah, also yeah. as well, PSG man, I'm, you're, you're getting a bit Hollywood, man. I'm seeing, I'm, I'm following you on, on Twitter. Every time there's something PSG, I'm saying, oh, jeez, PSG I'm seeing like 300 retweets, a thousand likes. Bro, you're getting, you're getting Hollywood. So don't forget us little people, man. Once you now start blowing up, bro. Don't forget us little people. No, 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 no. no. Just, I, will I will never forget you. I will never forget you. Okay, now, can I also address, so Red Devil Studio, now look. Red Devil Studio, there's something wrong with that image right there. You know, is there? There's there's something badly wrong there with that image. I, I feel like he represents where Nigerian football are <laughs> at this moment in time. It's, it's actually quite symbolic. <laughs> look, no, no, I'm gonna go in, man, because it's good that we have some Nigerian representation here. Because I'm gonna go in because I just looked at this because I looked at the squad and I then compared it to the teams and the players of before specifically what players and clubs went to say oh my god in heaven how how the mighty have fallen but we'll get there um mr alias representing morocco bro what up is your mic okay there yo 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 um so yeah i'm fully moroccan uh oh but i live yeah fully fully but i live in canada so i'm not like in morocco right now but um to be fair like I think I'm I'm anxious about like um like the eye of con to be fair because Algeria like they're the rivals so mm. like they're the big enemies and uh, I uh, yeah not not confident. Wait, wait, so, so, so actually no quickly because I mean I'm gonna get yeah. details into because I want to go into ZH and so forth. But who's a bigger rival? Is it so 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 you're saying Algeria is a bigger rival than um, Egypt and Tunisia to more Moroccans? yeah like the games mean more like if we lose against algeria like it's like it blows up like i can't take it like i, I have to hide i have to hide for a oh. week but if we lose to like egypt and, uh, and tunisia like i'm like i i'll take it fairly it's not like a big loss so oh, okay. yeah for oh, us okay. first algeria no, no, but see, I'm, I'm not, see that's one <coughs> that's what you guys will actually learn about afcon is that <coughs> i don't think there's any competition that has as many rivalries as AFCON, as yeah, in 100%, deep 100%. rivalries, because there are about two, three, four rivalries in the north of Africa. There are about two or three or four in the in the west, and there are a few in the east. Even bro, I don't even want to get. I don't. I, I don't even want to get started on Nigeria and South Africa beef, <laughs> you know, because that beef goes is is is, is real. So that Nigeria and South Africa is real, you know. So um, now we have Patrick representing Malawi, man. Patrick, what up? Welcome, what's welcome up, to the What's trip. up, man? What's up, man? As my country is happy to be there, I'm also happy to be here. We are happy to, be, we're just Vibes MC, man. Uh, during our train, <laughs> no, bro, vibes training... is good, bro. Vibes <laughs> is good, man. Vibes bro. is good. I promise you, vibes can take you far, man. Dude, you know? two, days ago, two days ago, during training, this man, instead of training, they're busy throwing uh, water balloons at each other. Man, they're just happy to be there. But you know what? <laughs> you know what, man? I don't care because South Africa didn't make it. And they're mm. supposed to be a big club. Apart from Dhaka, he's not at Afcon. But my man, Gabadinho, who none of you know, is there, chilling. So, look, man, uh, unfortunately, our best player 
who was scoring during the uh, qualifications um, decided to retire out of international football after he argued with the uh, coaching panel because they didn't pick him or call him. Apparently, the new coach says he's too slow for the play they want to do. So he decided to retire at the age of 29. So that's just one player who's very good uh, out. But look, as I said, we're happy to be there. Our first game is on the 10th against Guinea. Uh, mm. The thing about Malawi is we are underdogs. But the thing is, if you take us lightly, we'll come up with a draw or we'll score that. No, so goal. I, think, I think because whenever don't, you can't take any team lightly, especially when you're not comes to country and so forth, that kind of support and so forth is very key. And I think that's why what is going to be very key is if fans are allowed in the stadium. Because if fans are allowed in the stadium overall, like fan support is huge, especially against the smaller nations or nations just coming into the, to the first time. Yeah. Fan support is huge. Now, Cole, I changed your name because like, bro, I don't, I, I don't want any kind of ban thing. And this is, this is fully AFCON, bro. So Cole, representing Ghana, man. What's up? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's going on? General, mm-hmm. general, general thoughts on on just just very general thoughts on on Ghana and your on your boys' chances. Of course, it's, it's Morocco on my, and we'll speak about, don't speak about Morocco here because obviously we have Elias here. But just general thoughts: Can Ghana actually? Because last time Ghana won this, I think it was what the seventeen hundreds or something. Or? Yeah. Um. I think I think we're. I think we have no chance. Um. I think we. I think we uh, played really well um, against Algeria. Those like kind of moments against Algeria where you saw kind of like some bright sparks from Ghana. But the team that I think really needs it the most is us. But I just don't think we're gonna win the Afcon. I think um, we're we're kind of years apart from Algeria, and I think we're years apart from the likes of Senegal, Ivory Coast, and um, teams like Morocco. So I can. I can see us losing to Morocco on Monday, to be honest. Okay. okay. That's me personally, yeah. So, now look, um, I think it's only fair since this is dominated by Nigerians. I don't see anybody can speak, but it's only fair that we, we, we kick off with the green, white, and green here. Um, guys, I'll be real with you. I read up that squad list, and I almost threw up in my mouth. Um, because... You see, I have I have standards. I'm a bit older than some of you, you guys. I remember the 94 World Cup. And the, the funny thing here is that when you look at the players of before, Kanu Wankwo, Finidi George, these guys played for Ajax. And then Kanu Wankwo went to play for Inter, then Arsenal. Babayaro, he played for Chelsea. Amunike, he played for Barcelona. <laughs> you know, Sonde Ulisse was at Ajax. And you now look at the teams here. Bro, I'm seeing West Brom. I'm seeing Rangers, you know. I'm seeing again, with, with all due respect, a club from Saudi Arabia. This is real. Like it's H-H, it's H-H, real. H-H, you forgot you forgot Okocha, man. Okocha, bottom one. Oh. O- like Okocha, who moved to okay, he was at Frankfurt, then he moved to PSG. They were they were bowlers, they were players. I'm sorry, I look at that team there and say, wait a why can't you just go under the, the bridge and just try and find some 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 players from under the bridge? You can find some players from under the, the bridge in Ob- Obalende that are better than a lot of these guys from what Rangers. You take a guy from West Brom. I mean, my lord. I mean, RDS, as a self-professed Nigerian and, and so forth. Is there a way? <laughs> do, you, do you think do you think our worst I'm gonna go for it. Do you think our worst nightmares could be realized where we don't make it through the groups? No, no, no. H H. Uh, my, my reason for that is uh African AFCON have like expanded to 24 teams, so four third place teams. So Nigeria may qualify as the third team. PS, PS Gianti, I, I don't think you really... We're talking about a team that lost to Central African Republic. Now, I don't know whether that team qualified... Did they qualify for AFCON? I don't think so. So Nigeria lost to a team. So Abdullahi, go on. Let's bet the bank is a worthy bank in Nigeria. Central it, is, it, is, it, is, it is a big wait, bank. Wait, 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 let's add this. No, 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 no,
Nigerian football team full of stars lost to the biggest bank in Africa that didn't qualify for the AFCON. And we have hope that they're going to come out of a group with Egypt. It's, 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 you know, but, but see, I see. This is what yeah. pushback. See, my thing is this: okay. is obviously Nigeria sacked their bomber's coach, okay. Geno Ro, which is a European they found on the road. Okay, so Eguavon, he's got experience. He's new. So the one thing is that because he's new, how much work does he, he doesn't need to have with with the new team? But okay. it's a new manager. New manager bounce now. We've seen that a new manager bounce cannot does not always work. Check out your boy Ragball and so forth, but. RDS, surely Nigeria can can get through a group that has Guinea-Bissau and Sudan. No offense. Or are you saying that Nigeria can't beat Guinea-Bissau and Sud Sudan? I mean... RDS, RDS, <laughs> RDS, no, no, no. Oh, okay, RDS, I'll be real with you. RDS, no, 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 no. Let me be with you. If Nigeria... Yeah. Can't speak to Sudan, then I don't want them turning up for that World Cup playoff. Yeah, so this is yeah. So, so that's my thing. Like because yeah. Egypt, these Egypt. they're one of the going to be the, one of the, the the top yeah. teams in there. But I get that. I get that. So and to be to, and to be honest, I don't think I don't think you can completely write off Sudan either. To be honest, oh, no, I don't think you can you write, can't them write off, off really. anybody. You can't no. write off anybody. But no, if these guys cannot beat, if you can't beat Sudan, then I mean, what I mean, I mean, I mean, what are we saying here, man? What, what are we saying? The hope that we're hoping is that because you know the organization for this as is standard with Nigeria was completely dysfunctional. You know, so we talked a thing on Friday about the fact that Egalo isn't going because they submitted his papers too late. <laughs> but there you go. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and not that I think Egalo should be in the squad, but this is this is it's epitomizes the organization from the NFF. So um, <laughs> you know, but players probably don't have their money. So they're not going to be motivated. Oh, yeah, the, the, the whole payment issue. The you know, payment payment payment. Yeah. So that's going to be a thing. So we're going into this tournament with like... No, no, but, but, but look, honestly, it's basically because I follow Eguavon on Instagram. Yeah. I'm just looking at his posts. Now, this could all be PR, but okay. the way it's looking, it seems it's calm. But then again, is it truly calm or is it making it appear as things are calm? We just don't know. Yeah, we'll see what, we'll see, we'll see what happens on the pitch, you know? So, but... There's nothing that I can see. And you, you made a good case, like, going into previous tournaments, sometimes with, with you, you think, okay, we've got this dude, this guy who's been popping off for a, a particular Premier League or League or Syria team. Like, to be honest, Oshiman was really, like, the guy who I was like, right, I really want to see how he will do in this injury squad. Like, he's, he's obviously not playing. So... It's not like we really have anyone in the squad that you're like, right, this is who I'm really wanting to see who can potentially ball or do something in this tournament. We're looking at basically quite a few roadmen and a manager who we're hoping will, ha will experience a new manager bounce from this from this team, you know, versus... No, 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 I mean, no, look, I mean, for me, outside Trukese, Ea Natacho, Ndidi... Yeah. You know, those are the guys. But Chukese, yeah. he's been injured, injured a lot. Things yeah. been injured. Look, but let me let me come around to some other guys yeah, that are coming around. So let me just hit hit this doors. I want to come to Tywo first, bro. So, um, from Mason, Will, John Greenwood, save me from Southgate and Lazy. I'm Africa's son, Mason Greenwood. You're not African. You are English. Stay with the Queen, please. Thank you. Um, Josie Mourinho says. Need a dodd mention if my friend Peser he's not he's not going to be manager he's going to be manager for the for the playoffs I don't want him to be the manager we're going to be the manager of the playoffs if he messes up Mourinho it's on you bro a dash three man think of the dash three HH look at the brackets Nigeria wants to finish either first or best third if he finish second we face Algeria or Ivory Coast in the round of sixteen lights out I don't like that see I hate that sentiment if you come to a tournament. You come to beat anybody that's in front of you. Now, Nigeria isn't like, okay, Zimbabwe, Zambia. No, 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 no. Bro, this is Nigeria. A team who I feel should be winning every AFCON based on the population and the talents that, that exist. The, so, only, the, the only... I don't disagreement... want anything like, oh, let's... Avoid, avoid who? The, the only avoid disagreement who? I will have with that HH is that potentially from a psychological point of view that like... If they were to go the easier route and win the tournament, 
that will give them a, a psychological boost going into that World Cup qualifier and then potentially go on. So it would be it would be seen as a positive thing. That's the only thing I would say. But in general, I agree with you. Because imagine winning that tournament then, oh, yeah, of course we can beat our World Cup playoff. No problem. Um, Let me come to your boy. So Taiwan, man, as a fellow Nigerian here, general thoughts on Nigeria's chances, specifically with all the crap that's been happening with Dennis and guys not being picked, man. Um, thoughts, hopes of our chances. Mr. Taiwo, Mr. Taiwo, coming in. All right. Um, Abdullah, chances, bro. Chances for my uh, I've watched a um, few of um, Austin the Governor's um, training session and his videos a little bit. I think he wants to play the the formation they played in the Atlanta 90s, 96 94. Where he played like a four, and it's a four, four, two, it's a four, two, 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 or four, four, something like that. So, I'm intrigued to see how he's gonna play that formation and see we in that team, the Nigeria team. We have some some, some bombers player there. We have some old side. Who doesn't even need to be calling the team? Eg, because Econ, Calamity 2.0. You need to say that at all for me. So there's some decision the government needs to make. I'm just unhappy because no Emmanuel Dennis and Victor Simon. That's who I want to see in the team. But it is what it is. So we have better players who can go far in this competition and show how good of a team they are. So I'm intrigued to see how we're gonna play out in terms of the way we play, the formation the government wants to set up. Um, I'm like, how far can these guys go, man? It depends. It, it, I've got a couple of questions about mentality and building rights. So it depends. It depends on the first match how we turn up against Egypt. Egypt, if we turn up against him and you get beaten by five nil or four nil, <laughs> it's not gonna go. So it, it, you won't see. I will not do a watch along getting beaten four nil. I will get. <laughs> I don't want to rant. Place Nigeria, I do not want to run. No, place. no, I mean, no, no, look, I mean, 5 0 is, is, look, it's a bit extreme for me. No, my thing is that, look, the key thing is going to be it's what the performance is going to be like. Yeah, that's the key thing because not all 2 0, it could be a close 2 0, yeah. or, it, or it could be a total beat down one sided 2 2 0. So it's really depends on the kind of um 2 0 that is. Okay, let me let, let me come on to pressure. So, precious man, yeah, just for Nigeria. Yeah. Can you hear me? We can hear you loud and clear. Uh, see. Uh, yeah, as long as Musa does not play, I'm fine. Like, I was I was looking at this um, starting lineup. They had the friendly today. And he was playing Musa. And uh, that guy's finished. Like, they need to stop. Like, just let him retire. No, no, like, but, 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 precious, but this is this is a country that still is begging Igalo to come back to the team. Uh, I think Musa, they say he's 29. Okay, well, please. Okay. Uh, Musa is he's, he's yeah. 29. I'm 50. Bike. Bike. <laughs> <laughs> and they need to let that man rest. Uh, uh, as as long as they attack. I, I like... like wait, 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 sorry, first, hold up. Do you know what I find? I remember... Sorry, this is right. So I was yeah. watching the World Cup um and so forth and i think this is when like musa scored like two goals mm. for um, against serbia at the world cup 20 sorry against iceland yeah. and i remember um a guy said man you know like musa like he's like one of nigeria's best players and i was like how sad is that so how did nigeria go from olise amunike or culture to ahmed musa is now nigeria star player I was like that that is disgusting but sorry continue man pressure continue man. yeah i I don't know it's the Taiwo that Taiwo guy um who's been playing well in Germany. I like him. He's he's good and a catchy. I don't know. We don't have much options up front. It's just like hope. If they yeah, can no, get no, no. a draw, if they can yeah, get yeah. a draw against Argentina, um Argentina. What am I saying? <laughs> against Egypt, <laughs> they're gonna have to play like Argentina. But if they can get a draw against Egypt, I reckon we'll, we'll be okay. fine. Okay. Um. Let me. Bring in your boy PSG INC into this night now, man. I'm bringing patience. So, um, let's let's move things. Where are we? 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 So, I like. Let me be real with you, man. Um, I feel that Algeria are in a very very good position to win this whole whole, whole to, to 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 defend their title. Same manager, oh, oh. same group of players. Mm. Mares is still in there as as well. And I just feel that there 
isn't a team that I think that they should really fear. Hmm. You know, so PSG yeah, I have to hear a lot of teams though. Yeah, no, no, because, wait, wait. So, 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 so PSG and look, how how's your view on Algeria's chances? But do you how likely do you think that they, they that they can defend their title, title bro? Well, I expect at least at least a final if if in like we're losing Whoa. Penalty, if we don't at lose least like the final so 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 final wow. minimum no, no 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 it's because i have such high expectations because if you compare our squad to any other african squad we are clear we ha- our third winger our third right winger is better than most african countries starting right winger i mean Jesus it, Christ, for... man i wish i had your confidence man no 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 but for... No, but it's not about confidence. It's it's about expectations. Because Bro. if we go out in the round of sixteen or group stage, it's a big disaster. Because but remember, the... but remember, Algeria has never won the Nations Cup out um, in sub-Saharan Africa. Um, yeah, yeah, but yeah, but we have only won it. Yeah, but we have only won it twice. No, no, no. But, yeah. but, but, actually, but my thing that there's a first friendship. But, but look, Persia into just so explain more of your case as to why you 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 believe that. Okay. Algeria so, finals minimum because look man there are some teams out there man because I mean Egypt want to say what's up Ivory Coast want want to say what's up and I think especially even and it's beautiful because Ivory Coast is in your group I think Ivory Coast are even team maybe where get Mendy there, there to make some saves Senegal presumably are, are there as well Senegal even Mali yes. even Mali even Mali Mali can yeah, so, okay, so, so explain your case there okay so first of all all of our best players from Afcon 2019 are still there. The only two that will be replaced are Ferruli and Guardiola because they're old. But we have already better placements for them. We have Berrahma who has come through. Adam Wenas has been great at Napoli. Ben Sabine has been great at Mönchengladbach. We just won the Arab Cup as well. So our team is much more together than any other team. Mm. Uh, and uh, it's mostly about the manager. Belmadi is a... Top top fifteen manager in the world, at least, at least in the world. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the stuff he does with Algeria, I've never seen this like in an African country. Before, when I start, uh, supported Algeria, we only had like shitty Spanish and French uh, managers, but now we have an Algerian who actually cares about and, and, and the players in the country. Do you know, PSG? So do you know that's it? This is why I am. Um, this is what makes me envious and even even angry. Is Algeria have an Algerian manager mm. who he understands. First of all, he's a good manager, but he's Algerian, which means that he understands the cultural identity of this team. Mm. And that's my thing that for so many of these West African nations, you're going out trying to outsource and get guys from Europe and so forth. No, a quality manager exists within your country. It's just about yeah. finding the right one. Exactly. Now, some are some are bad, some are rubbish, some are good. <laughs> you mm-hmm. know, like I remember the, the days of Shaib Amodu, who he could just qualify for a um, World Cup, but he wasn't really good beyond just um, helping a team to qualify. But Keshi, <laughs> yeah, Keshi, oh, look at what he did last time, two thousand thirteen. Yeah, we shouldn't yeah, have won that one. We shouldn't have won that Afcon, but he, he managed to win it you know, with like home base players. So, 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 so much important. I mean, so why do you think? So, do you think it's important that an African team should have an African manager, or it's or it's not really important that you just just gets the best guy for the job? Or do you think it's important that the manager has to be from the country? I mean, both, but more of the second one. I mean, there's no problem in having a, a non uh, a manager that's not from your country, and we have seen that from other countries winning huge tournaments with managers from not their country. Mm -hmm. But I believe this is a big problem in Africa. Yeah. And I hated that most of the countries have non, how do you say, non inhabitants as their manager. Yeah. Like Algeria before Belmadi, we had a manager from the third Spanish tier. (laughs) It's like Africans are living in the past that yeah, 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 all yeah. the white people they are the good managers and yeah. us we yeah. can't. No, no, no. And... If, if not, well, like correct me if I'm wrong, Charles. Correct me if I'm wrong. I believe the manager who led Egypt to three Afcons was he was Egyptian. Correct me if I'm wrong. I I believe that the yeah, that manager was, it was the was, same manager was. who led them to three in a row, which was, who was Egyptian. Yeah, I think so, he was. 
Yeah. So my thing is that the the proof is in the is in the, is in the, is in the pudding. See, it would be something different if, like, let's say, oh, um, for Nigeria, like, but no, Stephen Keshi, literally a Nigerian, he won that Afcon. <laughs> he won that Afcon for Nigeria, being in, in Nigeria. So my thing is just about finding the right man for the job. So, what? How did you go from Keshi and so forth, not trying to find another guy who could who um, walked on the Keshi, or is it the same kind of fabric as him again? Is the user's mentality the NFF are run by roadmen, that's why. So, we'll just, just leave it at that. Just the Nigerian he's, Federation, he's an orange picker, he's he literally sells wait, orange. Wait, 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 let me come to your boy, um, Elias, talk to me. So, so, Elias, um, Morocco, first question I've got to ask mm. you, first question, Ziesh, where do you oh. stand? On Ziyech's exclusion from yeah. the, just give us a little bit of insight as to what the hell happened, man. <laughs> Look, I I was the biggest I, I was a big fan of Ziyech when he was at Ajax, yeah. Like I was like his he was my favorite, I'd say maybe number 10 in with mm -hmm. Ozil because I'm an Arsenal fan. But like after he joined Chelsea and especially under Tuchel, he's a fraud. I don't care, like he's not good at this guy. This guy, like, he never puts everything like on the table. When you play, wait, uh, so, so are, you, are, you, are you saying Chelsea ruins Ziyech? Is that what you're saying? No, no, no. I'm saying, uh, like, Ziyech ruined himself. Okay. In that sense, like, I think it's like his mentality. I don't know if it's mentality, probably, or like he has enough talent to be like, probably like just creating chances he can create for fun, but like playing for Morocco, he has like he, we are relying on him as the leader. But he never plays as the leader. He always plays like he's second phased. He, like he walks sometimes. He never presses. He never does like because Vahid he loves press uh, plays that press. We play a four one two one two. We play two strikers, so we want to press high. Uh, and Ziyech doesn't fit that at the moment. So that's why I think it's like there is the, a thing with the system, and also I think it's probably like. His attitude that doesn't fit with the with the coach. So I'm I'm more on the side of it, but it makes me sad because he could have been so much better, man. So okay, beyond ZH, man, mm. I, I'm hearing some talk that Morocco can do some things here. I mean, do you share the belief that well, you know Morocco can actually go all the way and go really really far in this tournament? Mm. I mean. What are your realistic expectations for Morocco? Semis max, quarters max, finals minimum, like Page INT is saying. Yeah, wow, that's tough. Um, then my problem, I think, is just like we are playing very well as a team, but we lack quality, like to kill games. Like late on, we need a goal. We need uh, mm. someone to create something. Like I think we could do maybe if we score early in the games, I think we could go very far. Like. We can if we score like one goal, two goals in the beginning, then defend like we can do well. So I expect us to go maximum semi-finals. Um, but then I, I, I can't. There's, there's some beef, yeah. bro. There's some beef. I think there's um the what? ZF cultures <laughs> are, are, are there's some beef, man. I mean, do you want to address? This? All right, all right, bro. All right, bro. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if he's Moroccan or not, but like, like let's be like I always put the national team above. So. Mm. Um, so I don't know. No, no, no. And also, in in yeah. fairness, in fairness, the last Afcon that I saw where Ziyech played in, he wasn't good. And this was, I think, no. while he was still at Ajax. And I made that point that yeah, like I watched Ziyech. This was when he was still at Ajax and it was quality. And for some reason, he just wasn't good for for, for Morocco. So and that was when I saw him and everything. So that thing is fair. So let me come over to call Roki. before I come over to come. Let me just take some of these jobs, man. So from. Egalo, oh lord. I dominate Afcon and you give me Dodd. I know I'm your idol. No, you're you're trash and you missed a one v one against Argentina. If you had scored that one v one, you moron. We would have beaten Niger we would have beaten Argentina and I've had an another narrative against Messi. But thank you for screwing that up. Um Michael talks for one. Thank you for the bro. Watch out for Mali, they can be a dark horse. Have people say that Mali being a dark horse? I'm like, yeah, but for me, Senegal, Ivory Coast, Egypt have a vendetta. Ha Salah has a vendetta. Algeria, there are way too many heavy. I think if Mali runs into any of those guys, they get beat. So for Mali, H H, Ma Mali got some good young players though. Like they got that guy. Yeah, that they're, not beating any of them. they're not beating Senegal. They're not beating Algeria. 
I don't think they beat Egypt. I'm not sure whether they, they beat Morocco. So if they run into any of these four, I doubt they beat any of these guys. So maybe they could squeeze into a semis. It's possible. They're not, they're not significant final, bro. Sorry. They're not significant final. Um, your boy, so I think it says, HH, if French European countries didn't steal African talent, which African team would actually be the best, produce the most ta talent? Algeria have produced Algeria. Algeria. Guinea have produced some guys. I'm, I'm looking at Algeria. I'm looking at Guinea. Senegal, um, Congo, Congo, Lukaku, Congo, Kimbe. Congo as well, Congo as well. But yeah, basically, I'm looking at Algeria, Congo, Guinea. Those, those would be the three. If, if um, guys were not now from them, man, from the Algerian National Federation, I find this preview insulting. We've already won the trophy. <laughs> <laughs> said, overconfidence is understated. Hashtag domination. Be scared. I'm trying to. You know what? What I'm is think, No, 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 no. I think this is four-dimensional. I think there's a guy who's maybe trying to jinx Algeria and trying to egg on PSG INT. And by adding that overconfidence, he's now going to screw them over. So I, it's 4D chess, man. He's they're playing 4D chess. Core. Yeah. Listen. Um Ghana. Talk to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, Cole. Why is Jordan Ayu still in this team? Why is he still called? Oh. <laughs> is, 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 is this a baby pele tax that like, he's still in there? Like why why uh, uh, man? This is this is a massive ABD Pele tax. Like I don't know what ABD Pele has done to the Ghana national team, but like he's done some serious, serious juju on this Ghana national team because I don't see how these guys are still playing. Um, but my 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 main problem with the Ayu brothers is <sighs> Jordan has talent. We know he has talent, but. There are certain games where he doesn't show the de the desire and the wait, hard wait, wait, work. Wait, 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 you're, you're, wait, hold up. You're saying that Jordan are you a class B brick? I think the mm -hmm. guy's been a brick for like three years. You're saying that he has he, in 2022. You said Jordan are you has talent. Oh no, no, like he's like Neymar. He has talent, but he he just cannot perform. Like he's he's very lazy. That he's a very lazy player. Like you know, that's that's Damn, how I. Blood is so just compared Jordan Ayu to Neymar. No, I didn't. I said because the thing about Neymar is Neymar has talent, but his hard work is not being seen. That's that's how Neymar plays. So he's very good. Like in terms of the wing area, he's very good. He can give you like skillful dribbles and here and there. But when it comes to the end product, Neymar and Jordan Ayu do not have that. HH. Let's be honest. They just do not have the end product. No, 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 no. no. I still. And I'm one of the guys that is hard on Neymar, but I recognize that Neymar's mm -hmm. talent is mm -hmm. top two, top three in the world. Jordan Ayu's talent is like bottom mm -hmm. 30 in the world. How oh, you, yes. Oh, so yes. I'm that's saying that. Well. How, are you, wait, how are you comparing the, the two? Because we know that ne mm -hmm. when Neymar shows up, he's one of the best players in the world. Even mm -hmm. if Jordan Ayu is at his best, he's still bottom 30, bottom 40 in the world. So how, <laughs> how are you comparing the both of them? Oh, no, no. I'm talking about talent-wise, right? Like, in terms of skillfulness and all that, like, Jordan and Neymar, they're not opposite. They're pretty much the same because the, their skill is really, like, their skills are amazing. But I'm talking about their end product. I don't trust Neymar in terms of clutchness. Neymar is not good in terms of clutch. I'm sorry, HH. I'll be honest with you. Jordan, too, is not good in terms of clutchness. So, so okay, okay, that's so, so. why. Okay, okay, what are you expecting mm -hmm. for, for, for Ghana? What do you expect? Max quarters, okay. max... Mi, mi, well, what do you expect? <laughs> HH, I actually think that we actually might get knocked out of the group stage. <laughs> you know why I'm saying this, right? Let me, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. I've, I've, got <laughs> Ghanaian, I've got many of my Ghanaian <laughs> friends and they will not be happy of you of you saying that, man. You know, shout out, shout out to your boy... Um, <laughs> I'm Sheriff, man. Shout out to my Sheriff, man. They're going to be happy you saying. Look, we'll, we'll talk about Morocco because we've got we've got two Moroccans here. You can't mm -hmm. beat now. Gabon will be missing Lamina mm -hmm. and Aubameyang due to COVID. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can't beat Comoros, bro. I'm, I'm looking telling at Ghana's like, gonna. See, Com Ghana's Comoros gonna have <laughs> four flags in their one flag. I'm looking at. They've got like a half moon. <laughs> they've got yellow. Basically, 
you can't pick a team that can't decide what their flag <laughs> flag is. That's one thing. <laughs> respect commerce, man, man. Respect, respect, man. Food's good. Man. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. If natural gods, you don't, you don't, you don't need to chorus. So wait, wait, hold up. So, so cool. You're saying that you can't beat Gabon without Obamian and you can't beat Cobros. <laughs> Yo, um, bro, like, I can see us getting shell shocked by these teams, yo. It's 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 just like you know, it's it's there's so many things that the Ghana team needs improvement on. There's just so many passing, ball control, off the ball movement, decision making, um, confidence. It, there's so many things, so okay. so many things, and wait, wait, okay, I don't so I don't know. Where do you, okay, so is it quarters max round of six sixteen max where? Um, HH, when I saw the South Africa game, I, I said maybe we can do um, semifinals. But now, like looking at the way we played against Algeria, bro, I won't be surprised if we get knocked out of the group stage. I'm telling you. All right, let me bring mm-hmm. you, boy. Pat, Patrick, bro. What's up? What's up, man? Look, man. <laughs> no, 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 vibes can take you far. Vibes can take you far. Ah, no, man, no, 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 Pat. Pat, how good are Senegal really? How good are Senegal really? Uh, don't don't, don't no, say no, no, that, then the stump has been new. Wait, 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 Okay, let me let me let me let me let me be serious though, AJ. Neon, uh, Neon plays for Senegal. Am I right? Does uh, Neon play for Senegal? Jesus Christ, man. Uh, uh, do you know, guys? Can I just can we just make an agreement? If we get uh, crucified, can we just pretend as if you you didn't see the game? No, but no, no, look, no, look, no, no, look, no, look, no. look. Let me be honest with you about That's Malawi. Getting a post match uh, for every game, bro. Every game is getting a post match. No, I I, 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 I will, I will support. Look, but the thing about Malawi is, as I say, it is they can surprise you. I'm pretty sure PSG. You remember 2010 PSG? Mm. PSG. Do you remember 2010? Or you're too young. I um, I was like nine years old then, but how how, how did it feel when uh, when you were a young man watching Malawi stump you guys three 0 No, uh, like my past memories from Algeria are just bad memories, just nightmares. <laughs> nah, nightmares. look, look, man, we, we were the underdogs. The odds were against us, but uh, it was a surprise when I saw us one up. I was like, ah, you know what? We pissed off Algeria. Algeria gonna slap us. But what I'm trying <laughs> to say is, we've had we, we've had very uh, surprising results. But to be honest with you. Looking at that, t- looking at that group. Oh, we have our homie Zimbabwe. Look, I- I'm I'm confident. Guinea, Zimbabwe. Hmm. I think no, no, but I think because what see, what we've seen is Afghan things is you cannot underestimate anyone. You can't underestimate anyone because everyone goes hard. Because in Afghan, a lot of the teams like to always underwhelm. So if you're if you're prepared and you show no fear and you just have that little bit of of quality, man. You can cause an upset. Yeah, and that's, a, think, that's, okay. that's a good table, though. Well, no, no. It's, like, for me, like, look. Let's just say, okay, Senegal. They're one of the favorites. Fine. Guinea and Zimbabwe. You saying like you can't beat Guinea or Zimbabwe? <laughs> My friend, it's peak. <laughs> you have no idea. It's how peak it is here. Okay, look, man. Zimbabwe, we can go toe to toe. Um, Guinea, we used to beat them back in the days. Mm. Uh, who's in Guinea these days? Back in the days, we used to beat Guinea. We used to draw with Guinea draws. They used to beat us many more. I, look, Guinea and Zimbabwe, I can say there's hope. But against Senegal, oh, no, there's too much quality, you know? Like, the thing about it is... Isn't, sorry, so isn't Keita uh, from Guinea? Nabi Keita, is he not going Is he not going there? Uh, Nabi Keita is uh, Guinea, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah but... Oh, yeah, I think it's Guinea, yeah. So is it just him? Uh, That's the main... I mean, I, I've obviously... Uh, Pogba's... Um, I think Pogba's um, brother, Bill Tima, also plays for Guinea as well. Nah, man, to be honest with you, like I'm looking at our chances. Those are the teams, at least I know, will, will do something. Senegal, you never know, though, because sometimes these teams that have a lot of stars, but they haven't lost, have they? I think the least they've done is a draw so so far in one of the games. When you're looking at the games Senegal have played, I think there's just a draw. But look, uh, HH, I'm going to keep the hope, man. There's always a team that has to disrupt. I hope these Malawian guys have gone there not for vibes. I hope they're serious. We, we qualify. Oh, oh, actually, hold up. You know, Moriba. 
because I'm just looking at, at the squad list now. Moriba, who used to be at Barcelona, now at Leipzig, he's from Guinea. He's in Guinea. So really, all Guinea have, I think, is Mor Mor Moriba from Barca, now at Leipzig, now Keita, and that's it. Everyone else is, yeah, there's, there, there's, there's no, no, so yeah, look, man, no fear, man, no fear. Look, man, look, let's be, let's be dog, honest. That, easy dog, yeah, easy dog. yeah, look, no, not easy dog. Let's just say that, that <laughs> table there, everybody, everybody will be fighting for, to come second place or to come third place or, but I think, as you say, look, once you are in these places, uh, once you're at this place, it's 11 v 11, you know? Uh, 11 v 11, 11 v 11. It's, like it's Juju, Juju. We brought our, we, have, we brought our own witch doctor, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You guys, this, no, I'll see if I can find it. There's, a, and this is like a famous video. There is, a, and I think I don't know whether it's an Afcon game or a um, African Champions League game. Basically, there's this guy, and I think it's a, it's a, a strike or something, and he takes like some. Is it the one on the? He's putting um in. Around the goal, um, around the goal, goal. he puts oh, around the goal. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Him, and then I think, that's uh, I think, I think he actually scores or something. So yeah, yeah he scoring. So, so the juju actually works. So, bro, it's 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 it's, it's real man. Um, actually, and see now, I don't even know whether I want to share this, but let me let me just even come to. So, this okay. So this is from Yasir Said. And guys, this this just shows you the why in Africa things are just slightly different in Africa. Look at this to what, what Yes Society sends me here. So I'll read it for you if you can see it. It says a Benin magician has threatened Sadia Mane of Liverpool that he will die of a heart attack if he tries to play in the 2021 Afcon tournament in Cameroon. Mane I responded, you, I grew up convinced that the death is in the hands of Allah only. Do you know what? Do you know what I find crazy? <laughs> is first of all, if this, I'm not sure this is true, the fact that he was actually asked. So was he in a press conference and a reporter said, a magician <laughs> said. So my thing is that I, I, I want to know that whether did a reporter actually ask him, oh, what do you have to say about a magician saying that you would have a heart attack if you? Look, look, I told you, it's a different man. I still I still remember that, that, that. Don't you remember the, I think, Algeria versus England game? I think it was 2010 World Cup. Yeah. And how there was a, there, there was a, they actually, literally, it was, in the, it was in the Daily Mail reported that there was an Algerian the witch doctor memory, yeah. that sent, because there was like a pigeon, a bird, <laughs> that, that, that was perched on the goalpost on the Algerian <laughs> goalkeeper's post. <laughs> they sent him there, and I remember. I think Heskey was still playing as well, so it was like you know, I, 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 I vaguely remember play. something like that. I vaguely yeah, remember. That. So let me Sorry. let me come to your boy um, Salah here. So Salah, if I remember, I have to say Moroccan, Moroccan and Dutch, isn't it? No, I was born in Belgium, but my both my parents are Moroccan. So, so Morocco man, um, do you expect yourself to top that group? And DC is a good fight. No, actually, before then, because let's look at the game for so two questions. First of all, ZH, good, bad, leaving him out. How well do you think Morocco even, will, 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 will do? Even if uh, ZH didn't have his best season, I I think that we need him in the team. Even if he had he hadn't had his best season, because I feel he he still is one of the best players in the Moroccan team. I feel. Okay. I mean that is that isn't isn't what um your countryman Ilya said, man, because obviously he was like eh, ZH has he says you have to put the team before a certain player. So but oh, you believe that well, ZH is clearly Morocco's best player. Yes. But not at the moment, but if he is at his best, he is Morocco's best player. But you see, that's the whole point. If he's at his best. And yes. do you think that players should be played because of oh, we know what you can do? Rather than what you are doing, because the edge, I can and I and I can vouch for it as a guy who is watches Chelsea. He's not been he's not been consistently playing well for Chelsea. So should he still be in the team, or do you, or do you think that there are guys who in Morocco who have played better and deserve to be in that team ahead of him? Yes, but I I still he needs to be in the team even if he didn't have his best season. Okay, so okay, so, so 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 how far do you think your your your, your boys can go? Uh... It depends who who can we get in the next round. 
if we make it past the groups. But but where mm -hmm. where where I mean, how far do you think you you can go? Do you see these guys possibly winning it? Do you think you can win it? Or you no, think... winning it not? If if we can get the right teams, I think quarters max. Okay, okay. Um, let me come to your boy Eddie, man, Eddie. So, um, a friend RDS here. Yeah, he's pretty much um. He said he's cut off ties with all things Nigeria and so forth and everything. So, Eddie, that's where we're at. We have our own fellow people who don't want anything to do with this country <laughs> and so forth. So, Eddie, as a Nigerian living in Australia, in the fact of the poor preparations and so forth, how do you think we can do at this, at this AFCON, man? Um, <laughs> look, it's, it's tricky, man, because the, the road depends on that first game um and they haven't i mean the competition hasn't done us no favors putting us against egypt <laughs> i mean you're dealing with moisala and why i, I say that is why why one man eddie he's yeah, one this, walking this walking. is the thing about this is the thing about the afcon they, this players don't, don't have that much time to gel up and you look at the egyptian squad they're full of players from the african champions league teams and their local teams like ah, Ali, Zamalek and mm. the Pyramids, I think. So, it's a lot easier putting that team together than the Nigerian team, which are just a bunch of imports. Right, <laughs> Let's call what? them imports. Eddie makes excellent <laughs> points. If you look back at that Egyptian team that won three Afghans in a row, mm. a lot of them ah, Ali, Zamalek, in, yeah, a lot of players played in African teams, so there was a there was better cohesion within them as a team and as a unit but yeah sorry continue yeah so that, that's that's the biggest thing so winning the first game is crucial because i looked at the draw if you win your first game the the road to the semi-finals is a lot easier coming out from group d but if you come second in that group you're most likely facing algeria <laughs> In the, Eddie, in the round of 16. Eddie, revenge, man. Revenge. In the round of 16. Free kick so, was a fluke, man. That free kick was a fluke. That, that but, was a fluke. Revenge. Uh, revenge. Man. Well, I, 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 don't, I don't want them in the round of 16. I'm just saying that. Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait Eddie, see, Eddie. I'm, I'm sorry. Like, no, I can't accept that. I'm sorry. I will not accept Nigeria trying to avoid teams. I can't accept that. I'm sorry. No, hey, Chich, I so, think we'll get like one of the third We're like, not, we're not avoiding Algeria. What? No, I think I think for me it's av avoiding them until this squad can play together because we we've got issues in the middle in the middle of the field we've got we've got big issues. Um, besides in Didi, who who are we playing there? Joe Aribo? or are we playing um what's his name? What's the former Arsenal guy's name? And I forgot his name. Alexi Woibi. Is he gonna play? Like, no, I think. Oh, so, I have a question. Is Musa still in the team? No. No, nah, Musa, Musa is not Musa. playing. Please, I don't want I don't want to see Musa. I, I, in the I, I, team, I said he's not. He's not in the team. I said Look. He's not. He's not in the team. And this guy, this guy is not I, I hope Igalo doesn't come over as well, man. He can, he can no, stay Igalo, there. Igalo can't come because we forgot to send his papers. Great. RDS, <laughs> RDS, RDS, this is a public forum. Can we please keep these affairs in private? Nobody needs to hear about <laughs> the culture <laughs> special. Yeah, can, can you just keep a zip on the NFF being, please? Thank you. Eddie, continue. Yeah. Yeah, but look, and, out and, wide, out Egalo wide, really refused. Egalo refused. There was nothing. Egalo, he refused. So please continue. <laughs> nah, I mean, you look at the squad and out wide, we can do, we can do something. We've got good players out wide. It's just through the middle, man. <laughs> there's, there's no much, there's no much there. Now that's, that's the scary thing for Victor Moses in this in the squad, is he? No, Moses God, no. Mo Mo nah, Moses, Moses no, no, in the squad. No, no, no. Yeah, he's retired. Isn't he? Okay, okay. Yeah, he's retired. But um, out wide, we can do something, but just through the middle, man. There's it's it's bare, <laughs> so yeah. Um, now because obviously because because guys uh, we we're talking about let's look at the brackets. Oh, this mm -hmm. stuff is it's complicated, man. God damn. Um, yeah. wait. Okay, so let me just I'm gonna, let me get okay, guys. Call me, let me just do one thing. Wait, what group are so group so Nigeria are in group group D, isn't it? Group D, Nigeria group D. So, oh shit. Okay. So if you're a runner up in Group D, you play the winner of Group E, and Group E is Algeria, oh, Ivory oh, Coast. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I know, 
Oh, but no, 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 I don't care how crap. I don't care. I don't care how bad Nigeria are. I am not accepting Nigeria avoiding people. I will not. No, that is a. I'm not stupid to that level. Hell no. I will not stoop to that level. Fine. No, 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 no. We have to win that first game. Algeria, let them get beat. Then we'll talk. It depends. Are we? Are we talking of? Oh, let's avoid. No, 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 no. That's you want us to be, you want us to be baptized, no, no. bro, bro. You want us to be, but I don't want to see. I love you, yeah, yeah. bro. I, I don't. Is, want... if, no, no. if it happens, it happens. But I am not going seven to one the of oh, seven one. Avoid. No, no. You play. Eight, who you, you play. You want us to be baptized. You want us to... hey, hey, let's get, let's get real. Let, no, let it happen. <laughs> let's, let's That's fine. Real. But... <laughs> let's let, let's get real, man. Like really sem semi-finals, anything can happen. But round of sixteen, I don't know if I want to watch that, man. That will be rape in broad daylight. So, <laughs> okay, but hold up. You know what? I'm, I'm not liking how people are saying some stuff in this group because I want I want us to talk about Senegal, Egypt, specifically Salah and and Mane. But let me take some of the jobs. Laudi Moral says, "H, I want your." Th okay, you know what? You know what? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, all right. So, thanks for the dub, boy. You're right. <laughs> so for Mauritius Club says Afghan should be cancelled. Hashtag depressed. Hashtag give up. Hashtag no hope. God damn. My God, man. Who who, who took out the, the milk from your honey, man? Casey, who is a now Casey is a Barca fan whose team um got beat 8-2, whose team completely got beat a lot, whose club forgot to actually remember Messi's contract, so, so Messi left on a on a free, and whose club paid a referee in 2009 to beat Chelsea. That's who KC supports, Barcelona. They're worse than that. NFF. 7-2 seven, <laughs> seven, seven is possible if Nigeria face Algeria. Now, KC, I know you're a hater and so forth, but KC, just... first of all, no, no, first of worry about thingy, and also, bring bring on Algeria. No, no, I, I said it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I said it. <coughs> Bring, bring, bring them on. Bring me to Algeria. I, I want to. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, HH, calm down. Calm calm down. down. Oh, calm oh down. my God. Man. Bring your boys on. HH, hey, go ahead. Because Challenge Senegal also. Challenge Senegal also. Now, guys, I'm going to say something that may be rude and so forth. Oh. But hear me out. Just hear me out. Nigeria lost to Algeria, but who was the coach? Genoro. Yes. Now, all I'm saying is, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, but hey, Kate, come on, listening, <laughs> listening to us, nigga, Von, are you actually confident? Eddie, oh, it's just I'm not confident, Eddie. <laughs> no, 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 are you Eddie. actually confident? No, 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 Eddie. Compared am, to the Eddie before, sticking. yes, Eddie, I am sticking. Let me, where's this shirt? I am sickened by the lack of hope you have in this. I'm sickened. I'm sick. Now, I have abused these guys. I've insulted these guys, but there is a level I want to. I will insult and I will abuse these guys. Of course, I will. A level I will not go to is oh my gosh. Oh, let's avoid. No, 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 no. Bring them on. If you lose, you lose. Uh, no. I will insult you, no. Eddie. No. I am not. No. I don't feel no. jinx this entire team. Well, 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 well done, HH. Tell them. Tell them. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> No shit. Wait, wait, wait. Put it on. 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 I can already, I can already see the hangout after my drag. Yes, no, yes, I see. Yes, yeah. No, no. Let me, let me. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Forget this, guys. Yes, yes. Now, let me, let me tell you. Yes, yes. Now, look. That's. Let me talk to you about that game against Africa. Patience, you were facing the fake Nigeria. We were managed by a European who has zero knowledge of Nigerian football. PSG INC, do you know why that semi-final doesn't count? You didn't face them, Phil, the real Nigeria. You have an Algerian manager. So that was Algeria. You were facing Nigerian. You weren't facing Nigerians, you were facing Nigerians. PSG INC, I'm saying right now, because you're saying, forget all these fake Nigerian guys who have... Who have no who have no faith in their in their country? Pitch to talk to me. Fine, runners up. Make sure you top that group. Pitch to make sure you top that group. I I, you. I actually predicted that Nigeria would top its group. Oh, 
over Egypt. So I don't. I I, I did a prediction. Talk to these guys, man. Talk, talk to these guys. I, I did the prediction of all talk. the brackets and so on. And if Nigeria finish first and Algeria finish first, they are on the two different sides and they meet in the final. In my prediction here, no, so okay. guys, I, we, no, 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 no. Especially to what page Andrew said. Why are we assuming that Egypt will top the group? Egypt aren't that good. They are Salah and then nothing. Thank you. Pesha, talk to these guys, man. Their so best, play. their best players on. are Pesha, Pesha. 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 and That's the goalkeeper, man. This is, if we can win that said, first game, no, we'll be yeah. fine. That's, we just, this, this is what I'm saying. Game. Hey, Chay, hey, Chay. Hey, Chay. This, this is what I'm saying. When, when you play them, matters. When you play them, matters. Bro, at the bottom right now, Algeria and Morocco, they beat Egypt. Yeah, Apart for sure. Style, who, 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 who do Egypt have? <laughs> yeah, but hey, this Egyptian team, is... all those guys who won that three in a row, they're all gone. Can I just all establish? Those guys, hey, can I just establish? Did we or did we not lose to an African bank? Ardis, can I can I, can I can I respond to that? Okay, yes. Who was the coach? We had a rep your coach. Who was and then the he's good. And then he's good. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, they had this dumbass guy okay. from Europe. Who knows nothing about football? Who so was did, so was does the, the so does the squad does the squad that we have now better or worse than the squad that he had then? That's a bad one. I reckon worse. Midfield you know. is better. Is it? Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, yeah. No. What? Listen, 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 listen. We did not have. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. Who? I, yeah. Jo Joe Joe Aribo. <laughs> Let me let me let me read the guy's name. What's this guy? So Aribo, <laughs> Eduke, Ewobi, Indidi Good, Oyeka, Wakali. So my thing is Indidi is not play that game, game, by the way. Let me let me land my friend. What? Wait, Wait, I'll give is not Didi. playing. I'll give he did you not play that game. We lost. Oh. I will give you Indidi. Nwakali. <laughs> uh, the rest was. Eduke plays for what? CSK Moscow. Oyeka plays for Brentford. <laughs> Aribo Rangers. Well, so so what is what's 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 what what's what what's what midfield is this guy saying, man? No, but look, patience. Let me let me say this to you right now. The only issue is Victor Simon, that is a catastrophe. Mm, yeah, that sure. is an absolute catastrophe. See, Dennis, okay, cool. No, Osime missing. Oh, guys, but well, hold up. Um, Obamian has COVID, but he's not missing Afcon. He's missing the first because he's not missing Afcon. So how is Obamian still allowed to play for Gabon, but Osime can't play? It's Napoli, man. It's Napoli. Yeah, Napoli. 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 They're, they're not releasing. The, they're not Napoli releasing not releasing him. The Nigerian FA were like, okay, yeah, yeah sure, that's that, that's oh, fine. Because oh, 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 remember, what remember I had the. This? Oh fuck, Watford, man. Well, why can't I? I don't know why can't he come to Africa? Uh, I think they filed his papers late or something. That's, that's <laughs> and what for the going? Yeah, where where will they rise to you, but, keep the? But play? Th this ha has happened recently, where these clubs they think they own these players, mm. and they right. can't send them away. I don't know why why it's a, such a big problem. It's mo mostly English teams. Like we sent Hakimi Gad Diallo. I, I didn't read any article about it. PSG being against it. But a lot of Premier League clubs are against it. I don't know why. It's it's not just for Premier League and Syria in, in particular have been like in, yeah. been divis, but I think a lot of the issue is that because the especially the Nigerian FA have been um like uh, you know, loose when it comes to being able to, to recruit these players, and at the same time they don't really put their foot down on want to get these players want to get these players to to record for the squad, or they don't really care. The clubs just can basically just do what they want and say, "Yeah, she will we'll keep the players." And the FA are like, "Yeah, we don't mind." So, which I guess is fine because they've got the money anyway, so it's no big deal. Mm. It? Yeah, yeah, no, no. I mean, like, Osima missing, like that is that that is a huge, 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 massive loss, man. I mean, it's a huge. Loss. So, guys, I want us to focus on Egypt. So, let me just take some of these jobs. I want us to talk about Egypt. Mm -hmm. Um. Lavrona says that where is that brick? I, I don't know who, who, who Leon is, bro. I have no idea who because my, my name is Leon. He's a Eurosport man. Um Adashvi says Salah and especially Mane need signature tournaments. And Adashvi, that is just 
perfectly in so it's a thing. So this is absolutely because so if can we compare our uh, midfield with Egypt? Precious, relax. Let's talk to Egypt, man. Well, uh, midfield uh, is useless. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying, man. Meet your mic, my friend. <laughs> um, so my thing is, so Salah has been um nominated for FIFA best men alongside Lewandowski and Messi. And similar to what Adash 3 just said, he was saying that look, what's the goal? Salah and Mane need signature tournament. But here's the thing. Salah missed the boat. That was a golden generation that Egypt had that won those three Afghans. An amazing, amazing Egyptian team that beats out an Ivory Coast team that was a true golden generation. You know, I've like that will always and look, man, I love Drogba. I always keep for, for Drogba. That is a cloud that will always hang over Drogba. How you never won an AFCON with that team you had that was easily superior to the Egyptian team. I remember, I think it was the was it was, was it the 06 one? Because I know I think they lost to Egypt twice. They lost to Egypt once in the final. At another time, like in the same, I think it was like three two or like four three, where Egypt then beats Cameroon in yeah in that final um one zero. So I don't know, but look, shout to them. But here's the thing: Salah is one man. One man cannot literally win an Afcon. And the issue is, what are the pieces that are surrounding Salah? You know, and I just don't think that the pieces that are surrounding Salah are really, is really good enough for him to go all the way through. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Let's, let's keep it real. If somehow Salah can lead Egypt to this AFCON win, oh, bro, that's, that would be huge. Now, I'm not sure when the FIFA Best Men's Award is. I'm not sure. Does anyone know? Actually, no, no, it's no, no, no. It, sorry, it, it won't fall in the same bracket. So, no, this will fall into like the other bracket. But this would basically, this would take Salah into the, the next level. If he can lead Egypt to this Afghan win, it takes him to the next level. But being real with you, if they run up to Senegal, Morocco, Algeria, I don't trust Ivory Coast. I don't trust Nigeria and I don't trust Ghana. But if they run up to Morocco, Algeria, Senegal, I don't think they, they beat them. Who here thinks that Salah can do the impossible and lead Egypt so Afghan win? Can I, can, I, can I answer that first? Pat, talk to me, man. Guys, let's not kid ourselves. Uh, Salah does nothing at Afghan. Uh, let's not forget that Riyad Mahrez went to Salah's home ground, backyard, disrespected him and won the trophy right in his backyard. What did Salah do? Can somebody tell me in this panel? What did Salah do in his own backyard? Mari is actually out, was the star. And people, Liverpool fans were hyping him. Oh, Salah is going to do this. Salah did nothing. My friend, Africa is different. The soil in Africa is different. You don't go there and just play <laughs> your system uh, football. The soil in Africa is different. Is Salah ready to sweat? <laughs> It is. The soil is different in Africa. Different, you know, different, great different. players have gone to Africa and look average. Look at that, man. Like, at the end of the day, I'm not scared yeah, of Salah because he did nothing. He did nothing. And by the way, if we make it, if we, if Malawi make it out of the groups, give us Egypt. Give us Egypt. Relax. I like your comment, but, 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 but Pat, relax. relax, relax. <laughs> because, because, Pat, if if Malawi beats Egypt with Salah on the on the pitch, I'll call myself Leon. Do you know Do you know that Malawi Do you know that Malawi beat the Egypt uh, uh, team that um they beat the Egypt team that won the African Cup? Do you know Pat, that right? The one Pat, Listen, I don't think you hear what I said. <laughs> if you beat Egypt with Salah, call me Leon. My name is Leon Hope. L H. My name will officially be, be L H. Leon Hope. No, 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 no. Can we, can, can we do this? If, if, if Malawi actually beat Egypt and we find them, can you get a tattoo of a, a gallo? <laughs> I'll think about it. Because, you know, there's actually a, a tattoo is like on my high road here. So I, I, I can use that. But yeah, look, I'll, I'll think about it because that's, that's deep. That's, that, is, uh, that is deep. I mean, look, PHI says, so you shook your head profusely when I said that can Salah somehow lead Egypt to the African win? So why do you say that there's no chance for Salah to, to achieve Dodd? Two big differences. First of all, Egypt, their squad isn't that good. 
we saw that first of all lost AFCON at their home ground. I think they went out to Guinea, if I'm correct. So, no, no, no. was it Cameroon? No, no, no. They went out to uh, not like one of the best teams. Let me oh, let me or... have a look. I'll double check. Oh no, no, no. I think I think I'm having confused because I, I know they lost. Oh, sorry, that, that was in the final, but that was not in Egypt. Oh okay. uh, no, South Africa, South Africa. South Africa, yes. Where that guy bowled. I think it's Percy something. That guy bowled. That guy bowled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, South yeah. Africa aren't one of the big favorites for the Afcon, and they lost to them yeah. at home, which shows that they don't have that good of a squad. Mm -hmm. Right now, they have a new manager in Queros, who was previously at Real Madrid and assistant at United to Ferguson, I believe. So they have a better coach. Oh, yes, yes, I remember him. Yeah. And my second point, it's Salah. Salah, like, you, you can take what I say, how you want it. But for me, he doesn't have that individual thingy. He relies on a system and he moves into spaces left by opposition defenders when they are pressing other players. And he makes the best out of that space. That wouldn't be happening in Africa, especially if he comes up against a team that parks the bus or man marks him. He will, he won't do anything because he ha he doesn't have the skillery of, like uh, Patrick said, of, of a Mares, of a Neymar, of a Messi. He can't create something by himself, and the Egypt team won't create anything for him. So I don't think that Egypt will go far, even though they have Salah. Um, what's the Liverpool fan here? See, see, this one I've said is no, Salah has improved. Salah has improved a lot, and I push back a little, a little in that Salah can't create something individually. But I've always said, although the gap is is closing, I'm gonna say that I think Mares is naturally a better footballer than Salah. As in footballing, I think Mares has more technique than Salah, but the gap is closed. Like. If years ago the gap was valid, Mares was easily the superior for the footballer, but the gap is closing. But I, I still feel that just Mares has a little bit more technique. But PH and Bruno Salah has done some things, bro. Like Salah by himself individually, he's done some, 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 some things. Also, yeah, guys, guys are saying that you're you're a brick that I, sh I should kick kick you and that you know you're a piece of crap or kind of stuff. I mean, when like, Egypt go out in the round of sixteen. We can have a live chat. I have no problems with that. I have no problems when Hazan, uh, when Salah drops a stinker, zero goals, zero assist in the Afghan. We can talk. Then. Easy, easy, easy. No, no, no. I, I actually want uh, actually because I desperately want Algeria, Egypt, and we. I, I want that. I want that. We I would want, want and, and I yes, think oh so. Boy. So if if Nigeria can somehow top the group. And Algeria <laughs> top their group, then we yes. can have Algeria, Egypt. Yes. And for me. I'm saying I'm telling you guys, man, don't assume he just are gonna top top the top of the this group, man. Um call Salah can 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 Salah lead Egypt to the promised land like Moses. Call, call, call. Uh, let me come to you, mean man. Um Ilias, bro. Um Salah and yeah. Egypt man. Yeah, Do you think that's what it takes to, to finally win his first Afcon? No, just just no. <laughs> Salah just like Salah. Um what I like about him is that um, he can combine. Like when he's got Firmino and he got, he's got Trent, he can be very, very good at combining. But the problem is when you look at Egypt, who is he going to combine with? Like, I, like look, I, I like Nani. He's a good player. But apart from Aiden, him, he's got... He's mid, he's mid, he's mid, he's mid. Uh, whoa. No, nah, he's decent. He's decent. He's decent. Okay. Maybe mid. But like he's got like bricks in attack. He cannot combine. So um, he cannot dribble. Um, he cannot nutmeg, he cannot uh, pass. Maybe if he got good attackers, he could pass well. But other than that, like I, I think it will flop. I think he it will be like it will be like um, they they're going to lose like in the round of sixteen, uh, round of uh, quarterfinals. Uh, is it around sixteen? I think yeah, around sixteen. Uh. Um, yeah, I'm expecting nothing to be honest. Wow, man. Um, let me take this one. So your boy Mauritius Club says. Asians, please search for Mauritius's Afcon history hashtag. Sir. Oh no, no, I will, I will. Although you have some beautiful women in Mauritius, though, so I just wanted to put that out there, man. Um, Yassi Saeed, who supports Man United, says, with the way HH abused so many players, CR7 and teams, if my Nigerian brothers are during the Afcon, wonder why their team is cursed, blame HH. Yassi, don't do that. 
Yes, yeah, so don't, 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 don't do that. So you, don't. You've, you've, you have exposed the clip. There's going to be a few don't, receipts if that's. Don't, don't. Mm. But, 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 see, my thing here is, is a look. Um, Eddie. What are you expecting Nigeria to do? Come down to, I mean, what are you expecting from Nigeria? Do you think that this is just going to be a complete disappointment or do you believe that a miracle can happen? Eddie, check this out. Eguavon is manager. <laughs> that doesn't help. <laughs> Last time we had the African coach, we won. Uh, please, Eguavon is not cashy. Please, come on. Please. Hey. Oh. Okay, 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 so why do you say that there's no chance? Is it because of the change of manager and the little time that the new manager has to train the team or the squad is just lacking core quality compared to Algeria, Senegal, Morocco and so forth? Yeah, I, I think the squad is lacking quality. Don't, don't get me wrong. I mean, you, you get to the quarterfinals or, yeah, I say quarters because you don't want to guarantee getting into the semis. You get to the quarterfinals and anything can happen. I mean, you're, you're going to have to fact things like injuries, um, how the squad's gelling together and meshing together at that time. Because it's the, the Afghan, as much as they want to pick out individuals, it's still a squad game. <laughs> um, you know, you, you don't just pick one player like your Mares or your Salah. Without a squad with them, they're not going anywhere. Let's, let's face it. So uh, it just depends on, you know, what the nature of the squad is at the time. And Nigeria will need that squad, man. But if Indidi goes down, <laughs> oh wow! Oh, oh, you, you, you oh, might as well, you might as well yeah, pack yeah, it yeah, in, bro. Yeah, yeah. You might as well pack, pack it in. Pack it so, in. Yeah, can I talk? Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, cool. I changed you, bro. I, I said, I said, Salah. Can, can Salah lead, lead Egypt all the way? Um, personally, if you're telling me, uh, I think no. I don't think one player can can take, and he's a system player. Uh, he's not a game changer or he's not a big game player. Um, my my thing about Salah is um, with this Egypt team, yes, they have some good players like um, El, El Neni, um, Hagazi from West Brom, but I don't think that's enough to, you know, beat the likes of Nigeria. I actually think Nigeria has a better squad than Egypt. And I actually you have think a better midfield. Better midfield. Way better midfield oh than God. Egypt, to be honest. That's, that's how I see it. Way better a stretch. Way better is a bit of a stretch, but go on, Cole. No, no, no like, like, maybe you guys don't see it, but I see, I, like, when I look at, when I compare Nigeria's squad to Egypt's squad in terms of their midfield, I think Nigeria wins that midfield battle. You get what I'm trying to say? Because, like, no. how long has El, ne El, El Neni uh, that we're talking about He's he's not even been starting for Arsenal lately. Like he's been on the bench. You see, so he's not world class either. He's he's average. So I I think Nigeria has a better midfield. That's how I see it. Um, um yeah. Yeah, can I say something? Um can I say something or yes, yeah, go for it, go for it, go for it. Yeah, you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of Lewandowski with Poland. Exactly the same. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. Like they, they they rely on their team to create for them, but when they're still yeah. in the country and they have worse players, they just cannot score. I agree. I oh agree. no, I think yeah, I think yeah. Look, it's like we, like I can see because again, like Sky Sports obviously are the guys showing it here in the UK, and obviously the their main marketing thing is like, oh, you know, this is you know, you can watch all the Premier League stars here, like you know, and I think they're really pushing the whole. Salah, Mane, narrative, and so forth. But I think what they will see is the Salah that you see for Liverpool, England with the Salah that you couldn't see for Egypt. Because, of course, Salah can do some things on his own, but that is a great system. He's around, and he's around really quality players. So it takes a lot to now readjust to not really having that same kind of support system around you, you know, as we saw at the previous AFCON, as we saw at the World Cup and so forth. Um, I want to now move over to the other big favorites here. Um, can bring up this these guys. Here we go. So, oh Senegal, do you know? It is amazing. Senegal have never won the Afcon, never. <laughs> you know, yeah. they've never won the Nations Cup, and I thought that they they should have. They, okay, 
they were the better on paper. They were the better team than Algeria. I felt on paper they were the better teams. I thought, oh, this is your chance. Koulibaly was a huge miss in that final. But I just think that's Algeria. Credit to them. They executed well and they were deserved winners. Senegal, I just feel they're missing that extra something. There's just that extra something I think they're missing. And it's like, it's like that's cutting edge. And I think based on that cutting edge, I think they can go far. For me, I think semi is minimum for Senegal. Semi is minimum. But I do feel that there's just going to be a game whether they lose on penalties or whether they hit a 1 0 and then they come close. They just lack that kind of a, that winner's mentality cutting edge because they have a great team on paper, a superb team. I mean, we've never mentioned guys like um, um, freaking um, Keita Balde as, 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 as well, who's also um, quality for them, man. So these guys, I mean, these guys are good. Like they have quality players, but I just feel. What about Diallo from PSG? Where where does he play? He uh, plays in PSG. Uh, center back, center back, yeah, defender. Yeah. yeah. Thing, and also, we look, this will even be the same thing that, that, that we'll do when you talk about Ivory Coast. Just having talent alone. No. Exactly. No. <laughs> be because for so long, how many times have West African teams? had all these amazing players. I mean, we'll get to Ivory Coast afterwards. All because you have these guys who are ama- who play for PSG, Liverpool, this, this, that, and so forth. That's not enough to win a tournament because at the end of the day, as someone said, I think as Patrick said, it's 11 v 11. So this hype and thingy, like, no, this isn't um, Liverpool. This isn't PSG. No, this is an African Cup of Nations game and it's your 11 against our 11. And I'm representing this country and I'm willing to die and, sp- and spill blood right here. So, and that's what happens. See, when you're, see, when it's club football, you know, you're not going to kill yourself to win a game. You're like, okay, look, when it's our countries, bro, you have to kill us to win <laughs> because it's real. <laughs> it's real. So, does anybody think that this is the year? For me, I say no. I say Senegal, no. I, I think, um, um, I say yes. Oh, sorry. Hello. Yeah. yeah. So, so okay. go, go. Who, who says yes? Um, yeah, I say I, yes. I say yes to yeah. Okay, cool. Let me go to Kovac. Okay, cool. Why yes? Um, for me, HH, uh, I think this Senegal team can cause Algeria all types of problems. I'm telling you this right now, because um, when I was watching the um friendly that they played against Ghana, I I saw like I saw holes. I saw I saw loopholes like I saw a is a that... friendly, no no a friendly is a friendly but like if you look at those things that's what's going to be Algeria's problem because when you see those type of like complacency especially them passing out of the back you know they have that problem with passing out of the back so if you looked at that friendly Ghana was pressing them high up the pitch and I think if Senegal can do that right and can find some type of loopholes, some uh, those loopholes that were open in that friendly, like how we we showed them. Because I'm telling you, I believe if Senegal meets Algeria, I believe Senegal beats Algeria. I think I, I rate Alusise. That that coach is a really good coach. He's a very good he's coach. a really very, 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 very good, good coach. coach. And I think tactically he's gonna get it right this time i i don't think algeria is winning the afcon i really believe this senegal team can cause algeria a lot of problems i'm okay, telling you okay so you think they will because you think ali cc would have lens mistakes from the last afcon and we'll it, it's not even that hh bro look at the flanks bro like look at the flanks of algeria like the, the problems they can cause to that flank and if you saw the the ghana friendly bro Look at how much uh, Joseph Pencil was was literally like you know on the flank giving these defenders problems. Like, bro, like I I seriously think Algeria have the wingers capable of causing um Algeria's fullbacks problems. I seriously, and they have a person in the forward place who can put the ball in the back in the net. You know who can actually hit the ball inside. So. I, I got Senegal. I think Senegal is going to upset Algeria. I strongly believe this. Um, RDS, Senegal, man. Do you, do, you, do you think this is the year for Sadio, Sadio? Um, I don't know. 
Um, as we said before, like the thing with Senegal has always been that they've almost been the almost club, not so much almost. in like thank you, like, thank, you. Club, thank you, thank you. Uh, even in the world last World Cup, you know, when you're looking at a team like oh, you know, they should they'll probably um of all the African teams, they're probably the team that everyone was thinking, okay, this this these these guys can maybe try and do something. Um, but unfortunately, if I recall, I think uh, was yeah, fair play, fair play tax, fair play tax. Third, yeah, they they drew Japan or something like that, yeah. So they got knocked out. But yeah, I mean, Sadio Mane hasn't really had. I mean, we're talking about Salah here. Sadio Mane hasn't really had a good team. Although the difference with with um, Egypt is that Senegal do obviously have a lot of good players in their squad. Um, they still got the same manager, don't they? If I recall, yes, Ali the World yeah. Cup, you know. So who I respect, and I think he's done a good job with the team, you know. So and looking at the group, I mean, who saw who's in Senegal's group again? Just remind me. Um. So actually, let me let me let me let me give that to you now. So Senegal have Guinea, Malawi, yeah. and Zimbabwe. Yeah. So they should. So they'll get up. They should get out of the groups. There's no issue like with that. If anything, I think Nigeria are more, uh, more likely not to get out of the group. <laughs> Have some respect, right there. Well, have some respect. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Patrick, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what this, I mean. I mean, I am I'm I'm disgusted at, 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 at this guy. Yeah, it's just let's let's just keep it a stack, like you know. Um, so especially after that jinx. Um, whether they'll whether they'll or not, I I would I would say at least semi-finals to Senegal. D- depending on the path, I think at least semi-finals to Senegal. Winning it though, I think might be a bit of a stretch. Um, your boy, yes, I said, man says, by the way, HH, me, Zeman, and Hassan, and I test are all from the same country. Unfortunately, our country didn't qualify for AFCON. Pain. Oh, you're really from the same country? And why? What country is that? But tell me, what, what country is that? Um, I didn't know you were probably from. Somalia. Oh, yeah, okay, might be, it might be Somalia, man. Um, so what's what's it called? Let me, um, let me let's just not talk, talk about, about these dudes now. See. These are well, dudes. HN, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can I add on the Senegal? Go for it. Go for it, man. Go for it. First of all, he talked about uh, the Ghana friendly. First of all, it's a friendly. Second of all, we won three 0 So even though they had a small zero point two chance, they didn't do anything. Third of all, we had four or five starters missing, with most of them just coming recently to Qatar in Mahrez and Barahma and so on. And then talking about Senegal. For me, Senegal. With me being a PSG fan, we're very, very relative. We both are teams that have mostly gotten recent success, but haven't won a trophy. So when Senegal is was in the Afcon final, it was like PSG in the Champions League final. Mm. We don't have the experience. Our players haven't born and grown into oh, I want to win the Afcon. We have won the Afcon in the history. So for me. That's the main reason why Senegal didn't win AFCON 2019 and will most probably not win this AFCON because they don't have that winner engraved mentality. Me as a PSG fan, I can. Oh no no! Don't no, 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 um, Let me answer. Let me answer his. Let me answer him real quick. All right. No, let me answer. Him. But um, bro, uh, this this is the thing. Like um, HH Algeria, right? Like they're not. When you compare them to Nigeria, when you compare them to Ghana, when you compare them to, you know, these countries like Ivory Coast, they're not as big in in terms of like African football. They they're there, yes, yeah, but they're not like they're not like in the same level as Nigeria and Ghana, and that's why I'm saying Senegal has been in the African part of the African like Godfathers for a long time. So like they they've actually been part of it, and for me that Ghana friend, let me let me tell you some H H. What I see is uh, there's this kind of um, panic in the the Algeria team, especially the defense, when um, the opponents start to you know attack them. When the opponents off. start, are mm-hmm. you basing it off of the friendly? I'm, I'm because this is this is personally me because it's not only no, no, the friendly. No, no, I've seen quote, it. Quote. Mm-hmm. You can't. See. It's not only the friendly. It's not only the friendly. Hh, bro. There was a time when did you Algeria watch the Arab lost... Cup? Huh? Did you watch the, the Arab, Arab Cup? Cup? That, yeah, that, because they no, look no, good. I, listen, I watched the Arab the, Cup. The level. No, no, guys. But but listen, the level 
between the AFCON and the Arab Cup is so different. AFCON is in a totally different... Like, you can't just go... Like, if you do one small mistake in the AFCON, the teams will punish you. You get what I'm trying to say? That's why I'm saying, right? Listen, listen. that's why I'm saying that in that Ghana friendly, and even they played a game, I think in the World Cup qualifying, they lost to this team, I forgot. It was this um, country, a small country, I forgot what it was. Burkina but, Faso, probably. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, probably, yeah, yeah. That yeah, was the yeah, game. Yeah. You see? So so you see how, like, when no, they... Wait, 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 no, 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 because we need to move. We're spending too much time. We need to move. All right, all right. Um, so now, now these dudes right now. Let's 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 talk about friends here. You see, Ivory Coast for me. Now these are the guys that are the perennial underachievers because Ivory Coast always have an amazing team. Or for for talent, if you're talking pure talent, Ivory Coast always have an amazing team. And also, I think Orange always looks really really cool. But the thing though is. So you even look at um so what's it called? Obviously, because you have Z um, Zaha there, you have um Pepe there that's um going, um Aporo, Lazio dude, Casey, AC Milan dude. Um, these guys they have guys, Willie Ogino, yeah, Willie Bowley from Wolves, Eric Bay oh. from United, uh, only African yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, Bay from United, Orie. Obviously, he was pretty there, but now I've been a real. So these guys they have guys, but my thing about it is that this goes back to what we've been saying before that. All because you have top players that play for top European clubs and they come together like Voltron doesn't mean that they're gonna act like Voltron, <laughs> you know, and say what's up. To be, to be fair, if that if that fraud Drogba had actually showed up, then they might have actually won something. But because he didn't, you know, like they they, they didn't. Let's be real, like. Look, my friend, let me let me come to Pat. So, Patrick, man, Ivory Coast. My view in this is that they don't win it. Like, I can almost put money down that I don't have, they don't win it because Ivory Coast is a perfect thing of quality players. When they now face a team, they will lose, guaranteed. Man, this, these guys are not going to make it. Uh, do you know, uh, I'm going to be using my own country to just measure all these teams. <laughs> I was watching, I, I came from work and somebody said, oh, your, 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 your country is playing. It was Carl, one of the guys I do a podcast with. They were playing Ivory Coast. I sat here looking at, K, uh, is it Casey? Uh, Willie Bolly Bolly from, uh, from Wolves. Uh, their whole team was there. These guys struggled to beat farmers from Malawi. Farmers from Malawi who are not even internationals. These were just the locals. <laughs> they were struggling. They beat, they beat us 2 nil, but they struggled. Like, Casey was struggling against a guy who bleached his hair, wanted to bleach his hair yellow, but it ended up looking like a, a grandpa's bleach because it went white because it's cheap, obviously. <laughs> but they were struggling. They were struggling. I'm telling you, they were struggling. So do you know what? Do you... No, watch. What? No, 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 chill, chill. So look, these guys are not even internationals. They struggle against local football players. The guy who was playing DM for Malawi was actually uh, uh, not even a DM, was an attacking mid. So if you struggled against Malawi, even though it, it was, yeah, it was a World Cup qualification game. They knocked us out. But if you struggle against Malawi, ah, nah, you're not making it in the Afcon. You're wait, not. You, wait, wait, Pat, you're saying Kessie was struggling against a local Malawian barber? Yes, <laughs> yes, he struggled. He struggled. <laughs> then I, then, then I, then I told, I told, uh, right, I told bro. one of the guys from Man City who hypes Kessie. I was like, do you know Kessie is, strugg is struggling against the guy who? Uh, cooks chips in the street in Malawi. You know those people who sell chips in Africa. Oh my <laughs> <goodness>. <laughs> calm down, calm down, calm down. Nah, 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 nah. But, but, go, 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 go. I'm serious. They struggled. Oh, so no, if man. they struggle against them, I was like, ah, you know what? They're not gonna make it. Uh, they're not gonna make it. I don't think they're together as a team. There's stars in there, but I don't think they're gonna make it. And Zaha, right now, let's start. Let's start questioning this guy. How good is Zaha? What has he done? What has Zaha done, to be honest? Because this guy is 29 years old. Wait, He's wait, not wait, going wait, to... Wait, wait, pa... Who is the guy that said bleached his hair? And it turned out <laughs> like follow. I'll, say, I'll, say, I'll send you a picture. I'll send okay, you a send picture. picture. Send picture. <laughs> this guy has been trying to bleach his beard and his hair for no reason. I don't know what he does. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you, know what, you know what, HH, HH, don't worry, you're gonna see him at AFCON, they brought him. After his performance, they took him. Uh, he, he's, he's a hardworking <laughs> man, but anyway, let's just say that they struggled like that. I don't think they're gonna make For me, I think Ivory Coast, especially this team, is not good enough as a team. There's individuals, but not gonna make it. There's teams that are better and stronger and more scary. So, so, so this guy's from Malawi. This guy is bleached his hair. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he tried to bleach his hair. I don't know who who gave him the chemical because it ruined his hair. <laughs> you have to send me the picture, please. You have to send me the picture. Sorry, buddy. One good question: the oh, chips that the goat, the guy is selling, are they plantain chips, by the way? Sorry, is he is he a plant? Is this is sweet plant plantain chips? chips? Sweet plantain, plantain chips. chips they sell. Nah, you know, you, you, I don't know about nah, your country. Dala, 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 dala. <laughs> I don't know about your country. There's these other boys. We call them chips boys. They stand in the uh, middle of the street. They. Mm. The deep fried boiled eggs, you know the boiled eggs, but they put them in oil. And then they, they put potato chips, they fry it, they make their own sauce. So those are the oh. chip boys because so he looks like one of the chip sellers. And this guy, Casey, struggled against him. So <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, that's what I wanted to say. I don't think Ivory Coast are gonna do much. Uh you, no, no, you, no, the perfect send wait, did he send me the pick? No, not yet. I'm on the I'm on the phone. So okay, if I okay, if I go out, yeah. No, 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 please, please don't 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 forget. Send me that. I beg you, please don't forget. Send me that. Yeah, I, 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 I will, I'll send, I'll send it. I'll send it. He tries but his but best. You know, guys, do you know what? The, again, now for guys who've maybe not watched an Afghan or thing before, what you have to watch us for are the keepers. Mm. No competition has better keepers than an Afghan, where a guy will get fouled, and this guy will do like seven, eight, nine, twelve rolls. A simple ball, just to catch a simple ball, they will catch the ball and do like a somersault, a flip, and a back heel, and a castle, and they'll, you know, like Neo and Matrix, they'll start doing bullet time and, and, and so forth. <laughs> <laughs> so, and and it's like, the Iron Cross is like, you know, just catch the ball. A simple ball to, 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 to catch, they can't catch a simple ball. Um, so who here thinks Ivory Coast can say what's up, man? Yeah. I mean, they're a good team, but I don't... I think their time has passed. Their golden generation has passed. Um, when they had Drogba and all these guys, they they won it in 2015 against uh, us in the penalty. So I think I think they're done. I think as far as they can go, I think quarters max. Yeah. Um, all right, look, man. I mean, let's come. Let, let, let's just come around this this thing off. Let me just. Get all these dubes, man. So, um, your boy Latin Rosario says, Afcon here, Forza, anyone not named Nigeria? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 that's that's just you're not just you hating, bro. That's just you hating, man. Um, English talent FC, why are there no English players at Afcon? A disgrace, English talent FC. This is an African tournament, so why would there be any English players around? But shout out to say, 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 say what's up to, to Lizzie, man. Tell, tell Lizzie that, that I love her and that she's cool. So, guys, let's now go to the big question right now, and that is a big question before this whole thing. Actually, no, it's funny. So, nobody is saying home nation tax for Cameroon. No, 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 it's a, they're not, they're nah. not going anymore. Let's be honest. That Cameroon squad is dead. Yeah, For me, I don't, I don't, what, I don't what, care. No, 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 I don't care what, what, what that squad says because when they won the AFCON, I can't remember what year it was, where they beat, I think, yeah, where they 2017. beat 2017. 2017. Yeah. That's yeah. what was even great, but they won. Yeah, so for me, I think home nation can now it doesn't mean they're going to win it, but we shouldn't be sleeping on them. Because what of is, oh, oh, they can go somewhere, yeah. That one, when they're supposed to host it in 2019, yeah, they got pushed back because, um, yeah. I don't know, reasons, and then Egypt had to hold it, and then now they're holding it now. So, I don't know, like, I don't think the environment around it is particularly positive, but I guess we'll see. Actually, actually, no, this is actually cool. I just thanks for this, actually. Um, but watch out I, for um, oh, wait, hold on, hold on, let me read this thing. So, the Adash says, Who are your top scorers? And players of the tournament. Mm, okay. Morris. Good question. No, no, no. Morris won't be. I nah. think top um, assistant, maybe. Yeah, like see, assistant, no, like top player. I say Mane. Surprised for, for Morris being top player. I wouldn't be surprised for Morris being top player. Um, I think top scorer. For me, I think Hakimi. Don't sleep on Hakimi for Morocco. 
Yeah. Hakimi, Hakimi could, could do something. And now, what about Osherman? He's not. He, he's not taking. He's not. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. So, Why are you yeah, reminding what? us? Is he a top? See, top scorer for me. Definitely not Salah because of the Egypt thing. Um. I reckon Mane top scorer. No. Sebastian Haller. No. Sebastian Haller. Oh yeah, yeah. Sebastian Haller. Haller. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm. yes. Yes. Ivory Coast mm. won't win it, but I'll say Haller is probably going to be top scorer. But yeah. Ivory Coast won't, won't win it. Wait, 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 sorry, wait. Patient answer. Who's who's Algeria's striker? Uh, Baghdad Bunjah or Slimani from former Lisbon. Slim Slimani is not. He's not a bad shot. No, Slimani no. For, for, for me, job. for me. If you look at top scorers, so you have to choose a team that at least goes to the semifinals. Yeah. And their goal scorer is also also their penalty taker because like yeah. these big countries get at least like two penalties to the run to the semifinals. So those two goals can be important. So I would say I wouldn't take anyone from Algeria because we don't have like one one mm. great goal scorer. No, no, I think I mean Haller, ha Haller really was good. a good shout, yeah. As a good Sebastian player. Haller, yeah, I would say that. Especially I'll... in our wee group, he can start pad against Equatorial Guinea and uh... yeah. Oh, that is true. Yeah, like you I, know, I no, that... no, guys, stop it. I'm just looking at Morocco, and Nesri, Yusuf and Nesri. That's not a bad shout. Peace merchant, peace merchant. That's not a bad shout. <laughs> And Nesri is not a bad shot because if Morocco can click, I can see that guy getting a few goals. What What about Toko Ikambi HH from H -H. Leon? No, HH -H. Toko Ikambi. No, no. Okay. H -H. How about Patrick? What's, what's up? Oh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, I, 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 I there's, there's only one picture of him, but this is recent from 2022. Oh, no. <laughs> so you can see, I think somebody advised him. So now he's got half white hair and half black hair. Oh, I just sent you. <laughs> just, I sent, <laughs> I oh, sent you. I, I sent you via the other account. By other account. You see, why? Do, why do African do this, man? Why do you I see do... him, number twenty-two. But now he's got half. But before he had all white hair, looking like a, an old man. <laughs> <laughs> what about what about Kalechi? Kalechi Niachi, man. Oh like, yeah, 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 yeah. Top yeah. yeah. uh, is, 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 is he, he could be like a top player, but top scorer. I'm not. I'm not sure, bro. I'm not sure. If he has a good tournament, we, we could get to the semis. A lot of it's based on who starts pads in the group stages, though, as well. So that's the yeah. like, group stage to start, start padding is 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 key. Oh no! Okay, let's let us let's, let's. Okay, so who who do you guys have player of the tour tournament? Select. Uh, it's a bit hard to predict now. Man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. It's it's. Man. I mean, like they no, 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 sure. players to watch us for. I think Maris for sure. Wait, 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 HH. Yeah. Let's let's take like the top six countries and name one player that we should fear most. Like, okay. So I think Senegal. I'm Mane. Gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say Mane. Mane has. I'm going to say <laughs> Kita Baldi. I'm Kita 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 Baldi. Kita. Really? Yes. I want to say Kita Baldi. <laughs> Um, Actually, no, no. They should fear. They should fear. They should fear Mendy. They should fear Mendy, the goalkeeper. That's the shit because he's arguably the best goalkeeper in the world, right? In Africa, RDS. In Africa, no, no, no. He's definitely the best goalkeeper. That's not the best African goalkeeper. Did he even lose to Wolves? Did he lose to Wolves like one zero something like that? He may have, but it doesn't mean. Oh, um, is Onana playing? Uh, for Cameroon, yeah, oh, Nana, yeah he's um, Eto, yeah, yeah, yeah. because Eto did a picture with him on his Instagram, so yeah, so he's true, true promoting, okay. isn't he? True promoting place of Cameroon, isn't he? Who? Yeah, no, 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 calm down, calm down. Oh, true promoting has nah, he has a good record, yeah, that that dude, <laughs> oh, doesn't yeah. he have a he's Champions League? True promoting, Champions League, leave, yeah. leave my goat alone. No, 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 calm down. I, I, I respect him, but no, nah, nah. um, so yeah, so so look, I think, yeah, I mean, for Morocco, I say a Nez no Hakimi for Morocco, ha Hakimi, okay. for Nigeria, I'm gonna say Okocha. Uh, I mean, did someone did 
who the hell wrote Neong in, in this thing? Neong, I don't think he's in the squad. Thank, thankfully, I don't think they even, they've even picked Neong in the squad. Thank <laughs> I said Werner is Nigerian. Please don't. <laughs> God forbid. Um, Look, LSK Lacks Ross said, Barkley is Nigerian. It's possible. Uh, so LSK said, does Nigerian independence from Madagascar come after the Afghan is finished? Also, does the Central African Bank still accept the Naira? <laughs> now, oh wow! Now, now, LSK Laxton, that is an extremely rude dub. That's an extremely rude dub. But what I will say though is that you support Man United, and I do believe that you lost two Wolves. So, and I believe that you're also seventh. And also, I believe Ragball needs some help. So, yeah. And um, so, guys, who's winning it, man? Who's Senegal. Who's Senegal. I'm telling you, HH. Senegal, no, no, you no, you no. might not believe me, but you guys will be shocked, yo. Senegal, but, but, but guys, okay, Senegal. guys, I'll, I'll be real with you. If Eguavo can somehow do something, man, because he's yeah. in Nigeria, mm -hmm. <laughs> Nigerian, and, and especially, <laughs> did, did, did you know why? Eddie, precious RDS, you hate us because nah, of your I'm abuse. Not... You no, I'm not. He didn't no, even get my prediction. He didn't even get my prediction. If these guys go far, I don't want to hear anything from you guys. I don't want to hear H anything H from you guys. And if H and if H and if we get lubricated and circumcised, I want then you to do a hour of apology. Then I'm a monk. Then I'm a monk. If, 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 if Nigeria, I'm a monk. I am a monk. If Nigeria, if Nigeria meets Algeria in the finals, I'm guaranteeing you Nigeria beats Algeria. 100%. Yeah, of course. I'm telling you. Yeah. 100%. Look, I know you don't believe me, but I'm telling you. 100%. Hold on. 100%. Hold on. 100 I believe you're rude, but, and, but assurance from you is like saying that if you jump off a building, you can float. So <laughs> um, I'm, not, I'm not really buying what we're okay. trying to say. But no offense, though, but you know, like I don't think they need any assurances, man. No, but, but PSI, I don't, I don't like your arrogance. Man. I don't like your arrogance. Like I, I, I don't like it. You know, like I don't like it. I do, the way the way you've been talking, I don't like it, bro. Bro, H -H -H if, what if, should, I, should I say? Oh, I hope for a round of sixteen. I hope we can beat uh, Comoros. And no, I'm not scared. <laughs> I, I... H -H, H -H, let me say something. Like, bro, like. If they win, if Algeria win the Afcon, it is, it is for me like it, it kind of degrades how much of a value the Afcon is. Like people will laugh at the Afcon, they'll be know, like, "Oh, wait, look, wait, wait, wait. look at based on what, what? Egypt." The people will laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Egypt won it three times in a row, but okay. like the people people kind of like say oh the afcon look at this like you know how you're in club said look at this little uh, competition you get what i'm trying to say like that's how people yes wait, wait. but but oh. hate is always going to hate i mean no, no, wait, 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 do wait, it. algeria are one of the favorites <laughs> they're one of the best teams so if they win it how does that denigrate how? yeah they, they have like three but, games on because the, hh hh uh, look at look at how the afcon teams like to be honest like all these Afghan teams, like look at how like it's so competitive. Even the 2019 was so good. The 2017 one was so good. It wasn't easy to win. You get what I'm trying to say? Like if they just come and just win it again, it's kind of like, like it's kind of like oh, like you know, there's nobody. It's it's like basically like Real Madrid three P. That's how I see it. No, that, but that's, listen, that's, it's not on the it, same level, man. Listen, come listen. On. Even in 2019, when we won it. Even in 2019, when we won it, we didn't win it like 5 0 against every team. We yeah. beat Nigeria in the last minute, we beat Ivory Coast in penalties, and we got a lucky mm -hmm. goal in the final. Yeah. So, but, but I mean, your opinion is correct. There will be people who look at Africa and try to devalue it if Algeria wins it again. But let, yeah. them, let, them, let them think like yeah, no, no, it's no. their own problems. Their yeah, own problems. Them, man. Those guys are just losers, but uh, from your boy. Leon Hope Karma Sessions. I hope my abuse of CR7 doesn't cost and jinx Nigeria. My I name is to. Leon. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't, don't know. I, I, don't I, know I hope that is. So from your boy Latin Mazar, I think he sent this twice by mistake. RDS, we are still waiting on a live for when Juventus lost to FC Porto. I think it says when, when Mbappe when missed. Cristiano was crying. I think it says and when Mbappe missed. Can I, can, I, can, I, can I read the dub? 
when Oliveira scored that amazing free kick that went under Chesney and Cristiano ended up with zero goals and zero assists in both legs. And when well, Switzerland well, wait, went wait, the next wait, round, Martin, the, Martin, there's a thing called the YouTube. Heroes. I did do a live afterwards. Martin, I did a live afterwards. Yeah, that's fair. When they lost. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. Adios, what's he, what's he talk, talking about, Adios? No, yeah, just, 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 just you, you didn't do a live after the game when Mbappe missed the No, no, no. He the said, like, you know, he said the port against... I did it. I, I did I mm. port to you if I did it. Like, like, I'll link it to you, bro, if you want to see. I, 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 did, it. I did it. I did it live, bro. So... I mean, I don't know what George was saying. I did it live. It was, it was Switzerland as well, bro. As well. La- Latin Zara again says, Mara's masterclass against Nigeria incoming. See you. That was a lucky free kick, bro. That was a lucky free kick. I mean, Mara's would destroy this Nigerian team. Let's, let's, let's... Nah, he got nah, lucky. That okay, come so on. Come fluky, on. Let's, let's not. Man, how do you see you? Let's not get listen. To that I, listen, listen. I want to keep so my, I wanna no, keep no, my no, expectations no, no. low. You know bro. what, Aris? Let's address it right now. No, Aris, let's, let's hash that right now. Let's, let's fight. So let's fight. Okay. Why do you have my negative faith in the green, white, and green? Explain. Hater. Can you give, can you traitor. Give me, can you give? Can anyone on this panel in the last, let's say, I don't know, I eight included? years, give me a reason to have faith in this Nigerian team? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I go go first? Just anyone? Just one? Just one thing? We got to. You're the better with Disney right? Plus managers. I'll be honest with you. I'll give you that for for a plus. We, we, Ghana's we horrible with Disney have... Plus managers. But but have you worsened that much since 2019? Because I haven't followed Nigeria. Yes. No way. How, how, did, Look, you, nah, you finished third nah, in 2019. 2019. How much have you gotten worse? I mean, I'm I'm only going by I'm only going by so far from my from watch how we performed in the qualifiers and obviously on the previous manager. Now, yes. This new manager that's going to be managing us to one tournament may, in this new manager balance, we might be able to have a performance. I don't doubt that. But based on what I've seen from the squad and based on some of the players that are not in this squad, I don't, I don't, wait, what's, I don't get where the, the optimism is coming from. I, I, remember, remember 2017, me. like when um, Cameroon didn't have like their best players and they managed to win it. I reckon, like, luckily, that's- we might get lucky this year. And we didn't have our best players, and we might I, just win it. This, see, this is the problem. This is the problem. This is this happens all the time because we come. To, this is the problem, with Nigerians. Is that is that every single <laughs> time we get bought into the hype, the World Cup, everything. Yeah. We're like no, no, the no, 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 no. Okay. the England of Africa. This is this is this is the oh, England of Africa. No, no, no. Nah, no, no, no. We have no, we have no, 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 no. never call us the England of Africa. Oh, Don't oh, ever. Oh. Wait, let me be real with you. Now, this is what I said. Now, now okay, all jokes are all jokes aside. I don't have much faith in Nigeria doing anything in this because the quality isn't there. I looked at that squad and the quality isn't there. But what I will say is, I cannot, I will not come to a stage with Nigeria, no matter how bad they are, where I now want to avoid the team. No, no, no. Now, if it's about, if it's the World Cup, okay, let's say France. <laughs> And Brazil <laughs> to the fight. <laughs> like, let's say France. <laughs> now, England. Forget those useless. Okay, if it's England, Spain. Now Germany. Okay, hold on. Like, like this. You see, this, these guys. You see, you see this. Says, this says four stars. Okay. Yeah, I've got four, four stars. stars. Yeah, you exactly. See, this. Let's let's wait. Let's wait. You see, even if this goes really up to this. Bro, Ghana beat Germany, so we Let's should be able to. But anyway, no, we drew, we drew, we drew, well, we didn't. Beat. Yes, he didn't lose, well, so you know. Nah, 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 but still bad results, still bad results. <laughs> what I won't do is, no matter how bad Nigeria have been and how much they've been underperformed, mm-hmm. Nigeria in an Afcon cannot be avoiding teams. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like, see, and you see, and another my thing, I think is, see, Ardis, okay, fine. Now Nigeria face Algeria, they lose like four zero. They get to destroyed. Okay. Let's not talk. Let let the wound pain. Let 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 the bleeding be begin. Good. Is four nil? Is is four nil? Just the is the, is that the upper limit, or you expect it to go any higher than four nil? There's no. No. I don't like. So hold on. So regular you're saying that Nigeria will lose what six zero two or, or just, oh, yes, is that seven zero? What? What are you saying? I'm saying. I'm saying. Oh no! I think less, but expect the worst. That's 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 no. where I'm going into this. I want Nigeria no. to do well, but I expect them to do badly. That's 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 my. But, that's my but, 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 
Yeah, Kwa, you can go on, Kwa. No, I, I think you're, no, no, I think you guys are being a little bit too harsh. L- let's be honest here. L- look at, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I, I'm comparing Ghana squad to Nigeria squad. And just look at the quality of players that are in Nigeria. Bro, you have Chikwesi, bro. Bro, you have um this guy. Um, what's we call it? What's it? Can can He's someone look at the Nigerian? Can we skip the attack and just look at the defense and midfield, please? <laughs> no, the defensive the defensive midfield isn't as bad as you guys make it out to be. That's like, what I'm trying it, to say. Let me link you, man. Eddie, I've, let me, Eddie, look, man. I, I came prepared, man. Let me link you, man. Eddie, let me link you. Compared man. to everyone else, our midfield is not cool. I don't disagree that Ghana is worse. Wait, wait. wait. He, say, he says midfield. Ghana, something. bro. God, bro, look at look, look, look bro, at him. He said, he said midfield. Pressure. Talk to me about the midfield. <laughs> First of all. Pressure. Yeah, I, talk I, like, about the midfield, okay. my friend. He said, he said the okay, midfield. Yeah, okay. Talk. Respect first. Alex will Alex will be Pressure always plays talk, well. My friends, also don't talk something. I'm man. talking. I'm talking. <laughs> Alex will be always plays well for Nigeria. Always. You see, you see Eddie. Did you see, you see why I should? Go? <laughs> <laughs> Respect Wesker, man. Respect Wesker. You see why I shouldn't, be, I shouldn't be giving advice to anyone like this, man. You see, the guy just the guy just said he will be. He said who? <laughs> <laughs> it will be. Oh, oh yo, no, no. Uh, yo, in, in, in GD, indeed, is like he's the best, one yeah. of the best. Mm-hmm. Defensive apart from indeed, apart from indeed, <laughs> who else do you vouch for here? Hh, I, I um, will need, bro. I will need. Have you seen I will need Union Berlin, bro? That, that type yeah, of player. We're talking Let's about play. the midfielders. We're just gonna play. Bro. We're playing two center defensive mid. Any, anyway, that's all we need. Onyeka is good for Burnford. Onika is a good play. I've seen him. He has been okay. And he's young too. Yes. So you oh, guys have a good team. team. Like, don't, is, don't, is Ahmed, don't below is yourself. Moose in the squad then? Why is this, why is Ahmed Moose's name there? I'm telling you. He's playing for Wolves. Oh, nah, he's just there for more. For more. He's he's just just for them. You know how bad that is, man. <laughs> Nigeria are still calling up Ahmed Musa in tw- in in big. <laughs> nah, nah, he's there for me. I, I, I know what you're trying to say. I know what you're trying to say. I know what you're trying to say. Yes, man. The team Red, Red Devil. Led, Red Devil. I'm the sorry. Team Red Devil is led by Trust Ekong. Are we gonna start there? Trust. Oh, oh, Trust Ekong. <laughs> no, no, no. But he's nah, nah, nah. He's he's, 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 he's the captain. He's, he's decent. If, he's even you're not mentioning uh, um Ayina from Torino. Uh, he's really good. I you know from Torino, very very good defender. I've what? I've seen him a couple what? of times. Wait wait, 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 Okoye just got his move, big move though. We, to, uh, what? <laughs> did we not have a Allah, single no, keeper? No, no, no. Okay, guys, guys, no, 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 no. Did he, did he hear just? Did he hear what Precious just just said? <laughs> he <laughs> just got a. Oh god, <laughs> man! I think you're being too harsh. Precious, can you stop? Precious, can you, can you repeat what for what 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 he just said? <laughs> Okoye just got his big move to Watford. Nah, nah, nah wait, wait. No, 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 no. He's being so harsh. <laughs> So Precious just said what his big move. Wow, so you see, man, stop at you. stop at the big move. Big move. So I want to not hear Real Madrid. I want to hear Bayern. I want to hear Man City. Mm. His big move to who? <laughs> who? <laughs> what for? Oh, you know, Precious, but HH, the level, the the level that um the oh, African we, players are oh, in. We don't have a goalkeeper. Yeah, 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 but, but we don't have a goalkeeper, so that already yes, means you don't, makes it difficult. No, 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 no. You don't but, have but, but, a goalkeeper. I think I think you guys are being harsh. I think you guys are being harsh because look. I think he, I think you guys are being harsh. I think you guys are being harsh. Let, let me tell you why. All right, the um, even even look at bro, Moses Simon can cause trouble to that Algeria defense. 
Um, uh, our knee can cause trouble. Chikwezi can cause trouble. Uh, God, did they pay you? Did they pay you? Did they, what, how many nairas did they pay you for this? Because you see, no, 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 I'm, I'm being oh, honest. Oh, God damn. Hold on, hold on. Let me 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 let Let's oh. hope not. Let's hope not. Let's pray. Not. Please let us pray. Not. From Igalo, no fear. I'm here. RDS and HH White manager incoming. Oh, thank you, Igalo. Shout out, man. Shout out, Igalo, man. Latin Rosario, head one of Cole Strong's made hype video for Nigeria. <laughs> That's what From boy you, Casey man. says, Spain, England will lubricate Nigeria. Very bad match. I don't fear Southgate. Bring those guys. Who are those guys? I don't, I don't the people, man. Um, so look, man. So guys, so, so please, answer. You are still sticking um, arrogantly and very disrespectfully with Algeria, destroying everyone because obviously you disrespect every African nation and so forth. So, so is that what you're, you're going with, man? I actually respect. African countries. That's a lie. You disrespect Nigeria. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, hold on. No, call, call, call. You know what? Let me just put <laughs> the background, man. Let me just put the background. So, patience. So, you are still saying that Algeria are going to walk over. That if Algeria don't win this, you will be, you will be, you will be angry. You will be disappointed if Algeria don't win this, or at least make the final. Yeah, it, it's about how we go out. If we go out in a penalty. I'm not that, but if we, if like a team plays us out and dominates us, I will get mad because we we are too good to be losing out to to these countries. Oh wow! Um, what's what here? <laughs> do you think that we should have fought hard to uh, this guys? For, do you think we should have fought hard for Ross Ross Barkley to be like at this point? Jeez, <laughs> look. You just no. I'm just looking at the midfield, man. I saying that Ross Barkley doesn't get into this team. You, you this take board. what you can get, man. Easily, man. I'm at this point, I'd be like, if they're quarter a tenth, if it's like four fifth, fifth generation. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, guys. We're doing African I mean, DNA and all every player now. Huh? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Everyone knows got some Nigerian <laughs> somewhere. It's, it's yeah. This midfield is God. <laughs> Now, but the Rangers guy, the, the guy that plays for Rangers, you know? he's about to move to um, Aston Villa, like one that plays for Rangers. <laughs> so now, nah, well, well, Aston Villa got one of the. Someone said Curtis Jones. Someone said Curtis Jones is part Nigerian as well. Yeah, get Curtis Jones, man. Come Come on, on, man. Just, yeah, he's not gonna play for Nigeria though. I, I don't know, bribe him or something. I don't know, Eddie, man. I don't. So from your boy, oh here he is, here Ross Barkley, hey. I can lead Nigeria to World Cup 2022. Glory, my countryman. Eight. We may be calling upon you. <clears throat> Ross, keep that phone on. We may just call upon you to represent your true nation. Man. Isn't isn't in Ketia, Nigeria? I'm not sure. <laughs> Saka is, isn't he? But, but, Saka but, shows England. But if, mm. but if he might be, let's make the, the call. Let's make the call. We, we need all hands on deck. Adas 3 says, Nike and Nigeria are all chests, no legs. Wow, that's that's, that's 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 a good look. It's it's um, it's 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 bad, bro. Adash is bad, man. Casey says Kane Morata will double their goals against Nigeria. But you see, I don't think you understand though, that Larry Lynn is a tree trunk. That's the first thing. Morata and... was a stretch, to be fair. He beat yeah, I'm not okay, okay, no, but Morata, the guy misses open goals. So my thing is that. Even if Nigeria are horrible, Morata he misses open goals. <laughs> so a guy that misses open goals, he'll he'll, he'll still feel against Tiddly Wings and a bunch of um twelve year old girls, man. So LSK Laxon says a Nigerian man with shades just said hashtag we want England in twenty twenty two. This man trying to summon Winston. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, my thing. No, no. Okay, I'll be real with you. The way. England are still not a great football team. They are, they are, they, they still have as much sauce as bacon and, and eggs and so forth. So they are still a, a mid team. But England would, in this state, England would beat Nigeria in this state because Nigeria and are not a very good. But yeah, England, like look, it's it, it's bad. So RDS, who's who, who's winning? Who's winning again? Who, who's winning the Afcon man? Who's lifting that trophy man? Who is? Uh, 
who is drinking from that champagne of the Afghan trophy, bro? I'm gonna give it to the Algerians. I think they've got what? they've got a good cohesive wait, 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 team. Hold on. Wait, are this man so? So if they want these guys to start gloating and so forth, PSG and they playing. have a good cohesive team. They have a a good manager who they trust, <sighs> um, and they've got obviously they've got experience. That's that's it. They've got to be favourites. PSG and to get your filthy hand off that off, off that crest, man. You're muted. Thankfully, oh, you're muted. We can't We're play. adding another star. We're adding another star. <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> um, Precious, who is winning this Afcon? And if you say Nigeria, I'll throw you out of this. Out of, out of this. Hand <laughs> nah, nah. I, I reckon um, Senegal. So Senegal. Why? Oh, why Senegal? What is going to be different now? Why do you think Senegal, who lack a cutting edge, why do you think they'll they'll take it home? Nah, they, they, I reckon it's like they're going to learn from like, um 2019, aren't they? So. And also, if um, Ismail Saar, the the one that plays for Watford, if he's fit, he's like the best ten. So if he's he's he can be the cutting edge they need. If he's fit, I reckon they win it. So. Um, and Katia is from Ghana, so there we go. That, that that's bad news there. Core, who's also oh, so core? Are you still sticking with or oh, Senegal to win it? Uh yeah. Um, HH for me. I'm definitely going because, bro, I see, I see these guys, how you can get at these guys. I can see how you can cause this Algeria team, like, a lot of problems. And, like, you di- you just need someone like an Awuni, you know, or, like, even someone like um, a big guy who can put the ball in the back of the net, you know, with good, you know, wingers who can cause problems on the flank. Senegal have all of that. You know, and that's why I'm saying I personally think Senegal can beat Algeria. They got the, the players to finish their chances and they can cause problems because of the loopholes. You know, Algeria, let me tell you something, Mitch, just one thing. Algeria, passing out of the back, they are not, if you press them high, they are not good. They, they're shaky. So You can no, no, see no, 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 no. it. I, you can literally see it. <laughs> I just asked. I just asked who you thought. So you believe Senegal are going to win? Okay, all right. Okay, definitely. Um, okay, Pat, mm-hmm. who are you going for? Who 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 lifts up this trophy? Uh, let's be honest and stop wasting each other's time. It's going to be Algeria. That's the only team that's linked oh, right now. Oh, Pat, come on, man. Nah, nah. I don't agree, man. They're not. What going did to... you did you want me to say, Malawi? Is that what you want? <laughs> okay, <laughs> is that what? Is that Why just... not Ivory Coast? Why not Salah? Nah, man, I'm, I'm not. Man, man, I've told you already. As soon as Salah Morocco? steps in that uh, on that Morocco? African soil, he's doing nothing. So Morocco is good, but Hakim Ziyech could have been a uh, a good addition. But I, I, for me, I think it's Algeria, man. That's not a team that seems to be great and uh, seems to be more of a team, you know. And they have experience. And the guys who are playing for Algeria, that the team is still fine. Like they're not old. Yeah. They're still in in top form and. Look, let's just say what it is. It's the one that's going to play as a team. If Senegal win it, I'll be surprised. It's just that I haven't seen much from Senegal, but it's going to be Algeria, I think so. Uh, but saying that, this is African Cup of Nations. Uh, let's not forget sometimes the hosts, uh, if they do their home juju, it, especially Cameroon. Camero- uh, if it, don't sleep on Cameroon, because remember, yeah? this is um, Eto is the new president. Eto has been pumping this up. I'm sure Eto says, man, whatever is needed that's yeah. legal, let's do it. That's what I'm saying, especially the home country. The only home country that embarrassed things was, it's like the Egypt. I was surprised that they went out that easily. But home countries are usually very difficult in uh, in, in Afcon, you know, they're very difficult. So I know that Algeria is, but I'm still putting a bit of faith in Cameroon. But Algeria is the only team that I see is a bit complete. As a team, they play good football. Let's not lie. I'm sorry, but even people say, "Oh, they were lucky." Oh, that was a lucky thing. It's still football. They were playing good football, so that's what it is. But I'm also putting my uh, my money on Cameroon. Okay, um, Eddie man, round of someone who actually, yeah, I didn't, I didn't actually. So yeah, no, Eddie, Eddie, and then I'll I'll give my mind take afterwards. Eddie, so who who do you think t- takes this? Are you ready for this, Eddie? <laughs> Eddie. Okay, actually, no, I'm not. No, Eddie, no, hold on. This is. <laughs> no, no, look, look away. Hey, easy, Eddie, I'll, no, say no, this. I'll say Eddie, this. Eddie, don't. Eddie, don't. Eddie, relax. Eddie, 
<laughs> this, this, this is the word I don't want to hear to come out of your mouth. I don't want to hear Nigeria to come out of your mouth. I don't want to hear Comoros to come out of your mouth. And I don't want to hear um, Sudan to come out of your mouth. Shout out to my Sudanese people out there. Shout out to you. And I don't, I, 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 I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear Ivory Coast to come out of your mouth. So I don't want to hear Comoros. I don't want to hear. Actually, no, Sudan, Sudan is fine. Comoros. Um, Nigeria, Ivory Coast. I don't want you guys to hear from me. Man. Go for it. Okay. Um, I think for me, uh, the final, in my opinion, will be between. Senegal and Nigeria. I don't know how possible that Eddie, is. Now, you know, Eddie, you know, I don't know how Eddie possible that is, but okay. <laughs> look, Eddie, Samuel, Eddie, Samuel Eddie. Chukweze is about to deliver this for us. Eddie. <laughs> 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 Samuel Chukweze. No, 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 okay, no, no, okay, no, okay, wait, wait, Eddie, Eddie, now, Eddie, okay, now, look, based off. What he's been saying for about two hours right now. This <laughs> this this is a twist like seven or like sixth sense. So this was a twist I didn't see coming in this film. Mm. How did you come along round to Nigeria winning it based on all the stuff that you've been saying? Look, it's just gonna have to be luck, man. Like vibes. For me, it's yeah, exactly. Like <laughs> look, the the attack is good. Don't get don't get me wrong. Yeah, but the attack is good. The, the midfield is the, the attack, but... the attack is good, it's just the midfield. And if Let's just hope we can get the balls to these attackers, man, and just do something. Because otherwise, the, we we can't control games. That that's what it comes down to. It's just gonna be long balls and vibes. <laughs> so let's just enjoy. Moses no, no, look, Simon, I'm, I'm, Chukwese, I'm ready for Egypt Nacho, game. It will be. Let's just enjoy I'm them. Ready ball, man. Egypt. I'm ready for Egypt, man. I'm ready for Egypt. I can't wait, man. I'm ready for Egypt. No, um, it'll be a good uh, tournament. But yeah, Senegal Nigeria final, I think, and then now. Where I'm going with this, you know, now this may be out of left field. I'm going with home nation tax, man. Oh, jeez, don't say Cameroon. Cameroon. Nah. I believe I I think Cameroon will, will will do it. I believe I think so. Cameroon will not do it, but sorry, go on. <laughs> I believe Cameroon will do it. I believe that they will they will shock people. They will surprise a lot of people. And I think that because and especially because they're coming under the radar as they did. In 2017, I think that's what's going to lead them to victory. I'm um, sure to boy Latin Ozario who says, Messi, who has zero gold in World Cup knockouts and who screwed up in the final in 2014 and who needed... Um, we get drawn against Argentina, you know. So, so yeah, Martin, I don't, yeah, and I, I know, I know, I know Messi screwed up in all those World Cups, man. I made that <laughs> it is what it is, guys. I will see. So, guys, remember, I'll be, I will, I'll be, I'll be doing a post match of every Afghan game. Obviously, it'll be a post match of, of the first Cameroon against Burkina Faso, which is on Sunday, and there will be a live stream on Twitch of every Nigeria game. R RDS, I, 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 I. Keep keep hating, keep hating, and also ideas. If Egypt puts five on Nigeria, you know that I'm not speaking to you ever, ever again. I'm blocking you. Nah, they're not putting five on Nigeria. Come on, I'm, no, blo I'm block. If that no. happens, I'm blocking you, bro. I'm blocking because you so drink start club because you drink the team. Is that is that why? Because you drink guys, I will see you. Afcon thing is starts now. Nigeria, let's grow. Egypt, let's come home. Let's make this happen. Local coaches, black coaches, let's live. Peace, peace, peace. Hey!